what? Uh, uh, okay. Let me... Mm -hmm. I don't understand. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Nope. Sounds fine to me. Let me listen to the stream from my phone. Whoa, what the f Hang on a second. That's weird, Chotomate. Because I don't hear that at all. Alright, let's just unplug and replug in the GoXLR. Check, check, check. Hello? Hello? It's better? Okay. So weird. All I did was unplug the GoXLR and plug it back in. What? What a weird thing. I've defeated the robot overlord's deadbeats. You can count on me. You can always count on Mori to defeat the robots. No more Matrix for you. Alrighty, shut them out there. Let me just make sure everything else is fine. Should be okay. Yay, yay, yay. Hang on, I'm gonna sneeze. Please let me sneeze. Please! Please. Please let me sneeze! I just want to sneeze! Alright. I would also change my settings, so... Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Okay, there we go. Back to usual. Look at the light. That's also a good idea. Shall we go to the drawing room? Back to the drawing board. Hey, this place seems familiar. We're here. We got so many good drawings done. Uh, let me see. special. Yeah, we were crunching through these supers. I love this place, you do? Yatta. Um, let me see. Okay, nice. We had pretty much gotten like halfway through-ish? Ish? Um... But let me see... There were a lot of gift memberships later on. Your first drawing stream? Welcome! Um, I'm gonna try and be fast! I always try to be fast, I feel, but then I'm not. I'm really kind of putting <laughs> a bit of effort into these, but what I want to do is do the same level of effort and be fast because there are people that draw like Some really amazing like fully colored illustrations for the same Amount as like a red super chat. So I don't know It just feels right to to try hard to to draw it and if it's within my ability I kind of want to but I don't know. It's just a me thing. I guess um, You can't rush art kind of drawing hardware do I use? I use Paint Tool Sai. That's what it's called. Five minutes each, right? Well, it kind of turned into 10, and then 10 turned into 20, and I really should keep it more at 10. So I'm gonna have a timer next to me that I can just glance at. A timer to just glance at how I'm doing. Uh, let me see. Stopwatch. Just so that I have an idea. <laughs> oh, 
I'll put it right here. It's off to my side, so I'll have to go out of my way to look at it. Depends on the tangents. Yeah, like what, what if I talk about a bunch of stuff and then I just lose my way? Anyway, I have coffee though, so that should help. Mm. A little bit. If we run out though, and I've been brewing my own coffee recently, if we run out though, we're getting Starbucks because <laughs> I'm out of coffee cups. So that's what today is. And then tomorrow is probably Red Dead again, I'm thinking. And then that will also be a long stream, so that's going to be interesting. Um, anyway, we're in like a new... Oh, whoopsies. I haven't... All right. Let me just warm up my tools. Um, with Red Dead, guys, um, I think that because I really do want to finish the game, I'm going to be really hardcore focused on the main story. and. Occasionally we might go off and do something kind of random, but from the next playthrough onward, I'm really going to be doing the main mission stuff. Anyway. I want to try. I know that no one else in Holo has done it because people were mentioning that, right? Well, I saw a lot of people, a lot of comments saying, oh, I hope that Callie really finishes Red Dead because no one's done it so far, right? So I thought, oh, well, I should, I should go ahead and finish it then. So, I know it's a long one, though. Um, and I don't feel like I have it in me to stream it consecutively day after day after day after day. So, might as well. Um, so yeah. How many playthroughs are you planning on? So, if you mean, like, videos? I was looking at it, we played for about six hours and it said 9% of the story. So I think at minimum, it's gonna be like a 15 part series, minimum. And that's assuming that I stream for like six hours a day. So I don't know, it'll probably be more like 20, but I'll just, I'll just do my best. Sounds like Persona 5 all over, Persona 5. Persona 5, I simply wanna play on my own. That's all that there is to it. And then Persona 3, I kind of just want to play the new one with you guys, which, by the way, I think that's going to happen. It seems promising. It seems promising. Anyway, less than a month away. It's all that I've been thinking about. I think my tools are warmed up so we can go ahead and start the draw. Um, let's see. The last one that we did was Danny the Gunsmith, if I remember correctly. And then um, a big ups to Crunch. Thanks, Crunch. Um, the big ups to the next drawing. The next drawing that we got here is for Jeremy. Oh boy. This seems like an interesting one. Mori Calliope yeeting Bibu into a lake to cause a ripple effect while the tombstones get soaked by the water. Or you can draw Bibu yeeting tombstones into a lake. Either one's fine with me. My signature is, is Jeremy. Okay, how to draw throw. <laughs> how to draw throw. Tombstones getting soaked by the water. What do the tombstones even look like? I think I have an idea for this one. There's Moe standing here watching Bibu. I'm like a proud dad. Super chats disabled? They sure are. Because I'm drawing right now uh, the people that sent the reds. And then there's Vibu. She's throwing them. What is throwing? How does one throw? How? What does that pose look like? Maybe like she's spinning around and she's getting ready to, to throw them. She's just tossing them off into the sky. Kind of like this. Yeah. And I'm watching like a, like a proud parent. <clears throat> ah. oh, the sniffles. And this is a tombstone. Come on, sketch, Mori, sketch. I guess they kind of look like deadbeats, but like... 
their graves. So like there's like a skull face here. And he's really upset. He's like, no, don't do it. But he's also kind of like happy about it, you know? Put them out there. Still kind of like excited. You aren't getting sick, are you? Man, I hope not. I have too much to do. I have too much to do, so please, no sick. You know what I could just do is look up a throwing pose? <laughs> mate. Mate, mate. That could work. That's much better. Looks like she's playing some baseball. Watching like a proud dad off in the corner. Just look up a reference. Simple as that. Simple as. There we go. There, she did it. She threw him. There we go. We'll just have we'll have him here. He's in flight. This is definitely gonna take more than ten minutes. Here we go again. It's a tale as old as time. I probably should have put some guidelines on on these. To be honest, probably some more guidelines like oh one character only or something like that. But. Maybe I'll do that for the next one. Hey, one character only. <laughs> In fairness, I did include myself here of my own volition. It's a warm up! Wow, look at how dynamic. You can even see like the speed lines. Ooh, speed lines. Motion. <laughs> Is Vivu throwing a pebble? No, she's throwing a tombstone. It's a little different. Pebbles who also enjoy Mori or deadbeats that also enjoy Vivu. Can be either one. It says R.I.P. on it. Who is she throwing the tombstone to? I don't know, just into the water. There we go. Ah! That's important. Now I need to look up a reference for Bibu as well. Yeah, 
Here, I have a better idea. Me just giving a thumbs up. Nice throwing, Bibu. Nice throwing. Okay. Oh my god, Dad, you're in the way! Resorted to calling myself father. Usually it was just a you guys thing. What am I doing? There we go. Alright, uh, let's see. Now I gotta look up my references. English. Maybe I've just embraced how I am. I've just embraced things the way that they are. Hey, you know, Bebo has a very similar crown to me. But hers is like a rock and mine's just a regular tiara. But we were saying that we kind of look like we could come from the same world, you know? I don't know, maybe we do. There's a lot of details. Whoa. It reminds me I need to finish those other drawings I did of them. I think I only finished Shiori so far. Just a little bit. I'm gonna simplify this. It's very beautiful though, it's a beautiful design. It's definitely not for drawing quick. <laughs> Why I'm waiting for them to get their casual outfits. I'm just gonna have it be like this in the back. Kind of open. Why is the eraser so big? Well, I fixed it. We're good. We're good. Forget about the little fairy wings. Or maybe we can, I don't know. <laughs> maybe we can forget about them. Maybe we just leave them out. Sticking out your... Ugh. Sticking out your what? I don't think so. Not here.
噔噔噔噔噔噔。哇 ！I'll be like, what was that, Vivo? Seeking out your yacht for more Rizzler. Really? Yeah. Classic Vibu. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, something like that. Doesn't need to be too detailed. Just put the basics in there. I just want to be your Grim Reaper. She just needs to go back to jail. Oh, uh, now let's not get let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Deadbeats. It's just a silly little song. I mean, I know that she did show it to the JP Bros, which is... Hey, you know what? They thought it was cute. They thought it was cute, and it was just great promotion for Advent, so... I get the marketing. This marketing 101. That's how you get people to remember you and join your cause. Makes sense to me. in my head. I can't get it out. Well, that sounds like a you problem, Deadbeat. <clears throat> but good luck. I don't know, maybe Bill Bibu your therapy bills. However you want to handle it, Deadbeat. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Brain rot. Dang it, dang it. Pull my Bebo trigger. Oh, Bebo. Alright, we're getting somewhere. approaching Have you guys heard Patrick singing I am a storm that is approaching Of all things it that that kind of makes me want to play DMC No, you should look it up. I want to hear Patrick sing Rules of Nature. you do. I mean, we might as well. I don't know if I'll be skilled at it, but it could be a fun series, but let's get through Red Dead first. And also, man, Undertale. That's another one I wanted to stream at the beginning of the year. It was Red Dead and Undertale, the series that I wanted to start. Um, it's just I really also want to finish some games first. So I don't know. The game will teach you. I'm sure it will. I'm sure I will learn the ways. Okay. Taking some liberties. The game recognizes game. <laughs> It'll teach you, all right. Hold on, I feel a little afraid when you say it like that. I imagine it's not an easy game, but I'm not here for easy games. You guys know if there's a challenge, I'm up for it. 
<laughs> Within reason. I have time. Maybe unless it's Liza P. I was having fun with Liza P, but I don't know, it's just a lot right now. I like it, but I feel like I don't like it enough to prioritize it over other games, you know? If you don't do it stylish, did you even do it at all? Exactly. It's all about the style. Bibu, small hands. That seems about right to me. Halloween night. Okay, we're getting kind of fast. She's playing DMC right now, is she not? It's a big DMC week, I think. Nice. Oh, there were raiders? Whoopsies, sorry. Thank you very much for the raid. I, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't looking, sorry. Big ups, though. Thank you very much. I appreciate the raid. Thank you. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't show it on OBS, which is weird. But I, I greatly appreciate it. Mayday, mayday. Cool crown beeps. Polo Live members playing basketball. Yeah, switch to Jackio. That would be kind of cute. I wonder if there's anyone that's actually good at basketball in Holo. Hmm. Has anyone talked about it? Maybe Bay. <laughs> Obey an actual b-ball player? Let's go! Even that I didn't know. She seems like quite the sporty one. shortest point guard of all time. Yeah, she's so small, but you know what? I, I bet that wouldn't stop Bay. Being small would not stop Bay. I bet she was good. All you need a heart is heart and some Space Jam music. I wonder if she's seen Space Jam. Oh man, I don't know, Bay. Maybe Bay should join in the Space Jam watch along. Callie sing a song too? Of course I can. Welcome to the Space Jam. It's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. All right, all right. Wave your hands in the air if you're feeling fine. We're gonna take it into overtime. Welcome to the Space Jam. It's your chance. Do your dance at the Space Jam. 
My voice is soothing to your ears. Well, thank you for enjoying it. I realized something. I was like, <clears throat> why does, even in the morning time, why does my voice sound so like, I don't, how do I say? Like mid-tone? It's interesting because I feel like when I, when I got into Holo, I felt like I was supposed to be lower voice, etc. Because nobody else really had like much of a lower voice than me. So I was like, oh, I guess that's what I have to do. And so I really kind of tried to tap into my lower voice. But the truth is, I feel like my voice is really just kind of mid-tone. The way that one of my college friends described it to me back in the day was like, yeah, you know, you have like... You have like a voice that's kind of like mid-tone and like kind of boyish, is what she said. But you miss high octave Kelly. <laughs> I don't know if I do. <laughs> I don't know if I do. Yeah. Tee -hee -tee -hee. So I feel like I went from like super high oct octave to like low octave for like extra gap. And now it's just, I'm realizing the truth. I just have like a really mid-tone voice, you know? When I'm like thinking about it the least, then this is kind of, this is just how I sound. But still the deepest one out of everybody in my group, that's for sure. But it's not like Nerissa or Crony. You know? I don't know, I kind of want to just leave it like this D right here because there's so much joy in it. I don't even want to put anything else in there. Yeah! It was just like, yeah, let's go! Yeah, I'm throwing them. taken a really long time on this <laughs> again yet again I've taken too long on it well if I take too long on some and not on others it is what it is it's been nine years but maybe we can finally move on to the next super chat She's just giving him a good toss. Prank! Yeah, but I'd like to be able to sing lower better. Um, my voice teacher says that, like, um, I actually have more trouble, like, with my lower range than my higher range these days, which made me laugh as I said, huh? Yeah. And the, the vocal training teacher was like, yeah, you know, you can you can hit high notes, but like you have you have a lot of trouble hitting those the low ones sometimes, the especially low ones, so we're trying to work on that. But you know, that's pretty common for for ladies in general, I think, regardless of whether you have like a low voice or not. It's not just something somebody with a low voice can do. My range has definitely been increasing, that's for sure. I would like to keep it increasing over time. Vibu says, Yeet! Yeah! Cool. And then I'm like, yeah, nice job. Jeet! That's a better idea. <laughs> but there's no G at the beginning of Yeet! It doesn't matter. 
It doesn't matter. That's how you know it's it's Vivo really throwing it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be Vivo throwing it. You know? Anyway. There we go. You thought that range was something that you're born with? Mm-mm. Nope. I think that would be that would be really sad if it was. <laughs> Imagine. Yeah, you like singing, but sucks for you because your range will never be better. So you just gotta be lucky and also like singing. And then hope that your range can expand. Nah, that would be really sad. Baby comes out singing tenor. <laughs> That'd be pretty unfair if it was predetermined. But yeah, it's like a muscle. You can stretch it and exercise it. Exactly. That's why singing as much as possible um, without hurting yourself is important, I think, to improvement. Okay. Um, -bum -bum -bum. For Jeremy. Okay. Thank you for your request. We did it somehow. There's the throw. <clears throat> nice. Oh, cute. This is another, this is a deadbeat sauna. Let's go. Okay, we've got something for JPRS NSR. This Akka is a gift from, from Kat. Aw, that's so kind. Could you doodle my icon, your little deadbeat sauna? It's got hair, hoodie, and box eyebrows in any pose. You're recovering from rough times, so no more supas from you until things get better, but you'll always be watching and supporting Deadbeat for Life. Thanks a lot, JPR Senesaro. I just hope things get better for you. I just hope things get better. Let's see, copy the image address, and maybe I can find it here. That's very nice as a gift. All right, I've got the reference image open. Nice. I'll make it kind of like... Other deadbeat sonas, right? This one shouldn't be too long. Start the timer! We're not gonna talk about the timer for the last one. We're not gonna talk about it. Can't go wrong with just the piece. Leaning in to say, hey, yo, 42 minutes, shh. Not true, because there was an intro, there was an introduction to the stream. Not true, not true. There was a five minute intro screen, there was me talking for a while, you stopped that. It was more like 30. Yeah, I also, I also was a robot. That was kind of weird. Well, maybe deadbeats can have hair. Nice. That's pretty cool. Nice hair, deadbeat. Box eyebrows. Maybe a longer jaw would be good. There we go. Buddy shirt. Buddy strings. Maybe pull it more this way. Time to defeat the gym leaders. Toupee! It's Ryu from Street Fighter. Chigao, yo. It's JPR Senesar. Let's go, Skirlingtons. Skeletons can have hair, remember, Brooke? That is true. But I always thought it was fake. 
That's my head cannon. I'll make the pencil just a bit thicker. Never, never. It's a Sarah from when he was left. I know, I know, but hear me out. What if it was fake? Look, I have my beliefs about skeletons, all right? He's a real one, how dare you? I said that I have my beliefs about skeletons. Don't ruin him. <laughs> Is every skeleton in fiction basically a deadbeat? Mm, I'd say no. I'd say no. There are definitely some skeletons that would not like the Grim Reaper. I mean, that I can see at least. That's how I feel about it. Very nice. We've only gotten about three mi th a little a little over three and a half minutes in. But the timer, it keeps going, it keeps going, so... Like Sans, I don't think Sans be a dead piece. Especially not after what we're planning to do later in this year. I think Sans will be the opposite of a deadbeat. You'll see. Why does Ninja look like a skeleton? <laughs> Not Ninja. JPR Senesar. Get it? Get your facts straight. You still plan on doing the Doki Doki Literature Club stream? Of course I do. Just waiting for everybody to be back. Need to get everybody back first. But if it takes too long, then, you know, maybe just rearrange the cast a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. An easy 10 stream. <laughs> Skeletons owner order at a restaurant. Spare ribs! Spare ribs! I know that one. I'm no fool. <laughs> I'm no fool. enough calcium. Yeah, they do need a decent amount to survive, but what can you do? Well, this one's more like a jacket than a hood, but it's got a shirt underneath.
There we go. It's called a zipper hoodie. Yeah. In seven minutes. Let's go. <clears throat> zipper hoodie. Oh yeah, if there's a zipper, then we should just put a zipper. We haven't hit ten minutes yet, so... Oh, by the way, guys, guess what? Um, I... I set up my Steam Deck. And I modded Stardew to success. I successfully modded Stardew Valley. I can't believe it works. I was certain that it wasn't gonna work. <clears throat> and then, yeah, you'll get a version of this without the signature too, in case you want to use it for anything. But for now, put in my sign on there. She's a modder. Well, not, not that I modded it, but you know. <laughs> Not that I modded it. <laughs> anyway, there you go, JPR Senesar. I hope that you enjoy your deadbeat Sona. What a cute idea. Once you start modding, there's no going back. <laughs> when is the Lethal Company collab? The big one? Just a sec. Let me pull up the old calendario. All right. Scrolling. Um, it's on the 15th JST, which means the 14th at night PST. I think some folks have it on their schedules, but... Stretch! Mmm. Ah. Coffee. Drinkies! Mmm. So yeah, the 14th for people in America. Um, and then probably really, really late night slash early morning for EU bros, 14, 15. Why can't skeletons eat spicy food? Because they're pussies. I don't know. Finish the joke. I want to know the answer. Um, thank you, JPR Senesar. And then the next one that we have is from Ava, and it's Moomers and Callie doing karaoke. That's really cute. I like that one. That's nice. One sec. Oh, also, today is cleaning day, so you will probably hear cleaners again. <laughs> Sorry. Ba -da 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 -ba da 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 There's Mume. Oh, cute. You know, Mume actually doesn't really have a very complicated outfit at all. Mooms. Mume did karaoke yesterday, as a matter of fact. Interesting timing. Sing together. This is the second request for me and Mume doing something together. <laughs> kind of cute. Maybe there are more owl beats than I thought. It's a sign. <laughs> it's a sign. Mmm, in woman. Karaoke together. Wonder what kind of poses we have. Maybe pull these forearms up a little bit. Brrrink. Yeah, that makes more sense. I've gone to karaoke with Mume, but I feel like she wasn't feeling well that day, so she just watched and enjoyed watching us sing. It was cool. Maybe someday we'll get to sing together. Someday. sing with everybody. You know? And I'm definitely waiting for for Advent to come to Japan whenever they do. <clears throat> to 
because I feel like I could definitely envision doing like some really hype karaoke with all of those guys. Now let's see. How does the shawl work? Dun, 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 dun. You just click with Advent so well. Yeah, it's it's hard to it's hard to explain the phenomena. <laughs> I don't really understand it myself, but I don't know. I just think that there was also just a lot that like changed over time. I guess. Um, and like, I don't know, a lot of stuff behind the scenes as well, um, with like the process of getting the new people in that kind of changed and overall I just, I guess I felt more comfortable to be like outgoing with them. And they seemed to really like that, which made me happy, because I never want to be a bother, but I thought Let's reach out and make new friends. You know? And so... I did. And I'm glad that I did. Yeah, I just get along with them really well, I don't know. making new friends, you know? I feel like being expected to, to only like talk with and be friends with your own genmates is <laughs> no bueno. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. <laughs> new people come into your life and you wanna make more friends. It happens. Doesn't mean I don't love my genmates and love talking to them whenever they're free. But... Yeah. I really like those guys. Yeah, it's true that the, the JP gens also really mix a lot, so... I don't think it's a, it's a weird thing. I think it's just something that's only starting to be seen now in EN because... We've been small in numbers until the past two years, you know? I mean, I guess when Council came along, it really did kind of, the numbers really went up quite a bit. But now the Advent's here, it's like especially apparent that we've grown quite a bit. Now we can have our own baseball team, yeah. That's a really good point. I'm taking too much time again. <laughs> it's cause I'm talking, stop. Yeah, I don't know. I just get along really well with those guys. Let's see. Um, what did the thing look like again? I'm trying to really, really memorize like what my outfit looks like. So I can draw quicker. Hmm. Cause so I've got like some gold popping off up here. And this in the middle. It'd be a good idea to like learn how to simplify it, but still keep it the way that it is. saw you in the reunion debut. You did great. Thank you for enjoying the song. It's extremely different from all the other songs that we've made, and rightfully so, because we didn't want to do another song that was like 
like either really intense or kind of like EDM. We wanted to do something like idol-ish because we don't we didn't have a song like that, right? We didn't have a more idol song, and so we thought, all right. At all the songs we've made, we have like a super serious one, like orchestral. We have an EDM one, and now let's just do an idol song. And so we did. I think it's great. And it's more like silly, like it's it's just a funny song, you know, that's meant to like, I don't know, have us just be very like character y if that makes any sense. Like if Journey Like a Thousand Years is the ending theme and nonfiction is the opening theme, then reunion is like the, the insert song, you know? That's the feeling that I got at least. <laughs> the battle theme. Anyway. I like all the songs that we've made though. And this time, um, we left the lyrics to the same person that did Connect the World. Um, cause that person's really, really good, number one. Um, number two, <laughs> I'm too busy. <laughs> I'm too busy. But I am working on a different song project. Um, that involves multiple branch people, um, multiple people out of um, myth, advent, and promise, so. And that's my own project. So look forward to information about that when it's ready, but it's in the works. Working on the demo right now, so. Look forward to that when it comes out, but... Hold on, I know what pose I want to do with this arm, but I'm having a hard time drawing it. Dang it, Mori. And I'm still spending too much time. <laughs> oh, this is my long sleeve. Okay. Let's see what releases first. Yours a GTA 6. No, this one has a deadline and a purpose. No. But the art's pretty much done for it. So that's good. Yeah, the artist went to work. Alright. Um, I'm almost done here with this composition sketch. Yeah, maybe it's like a fist. I don't know, something like this. There's definitely a fist here, but it's like a, a hype singing fist, you know? I'm glad to hear that highlighter. Thank you so much for the kind words. That's, that's why we're here, highlighter, so... Whenever you need us, we're here streaming. <laughs> Mori ready to just slug Mume in the face. I don't know, give me like a really intense... I don't know, kickback or something. <laughs> and we'll do it. We'll do. Watch out, Mume, watch out. That face is a little big for my head, though, so... Or that fist. It's a little big for my head. There we go. Much better. Okay. I feel like if it involves other girls, I kind of tend to just take longer on it in general. I don't know. Alright, I'll at least draw, like, the basics of where the eyes are. And, like, expression. Part of me thinks she wouldn't mind. <laughs> Mume's definitely, she's like, she's an eclectic one. <laughs> you never know where the moon's gonna go. But I don't know, I think it's kind of fun. Keeps you on your toes, she definitely keeps you guys on your toes. I love that one fan animation that somebody made of like, 
the conversation that Mume and I had. Where I was like, alright, give me your honest thoughts about Fauna. <laughs> she was like, I love her. And that was... <laughs> the slow look over to me. It was good. Wow, alright, that made me feel kind of strange. That's funny, though. <laughs> I think Fauna, I don't know when Fauna's gonna be back, but it's really cool that she's been doing, like, uh, Outer Wilds hosting and stuff like that. I think maybe I kind of want to do a similar thing for when I'm gone, but I don't know which, um, which game to play. Because I am gonna be gone. I'm going to be away, um, from... I'll still be able to stream on the 17th, I think. I will be gone from the 18th until, like, the 25th. I think, so it's a solid week. Um, I don't know what I should play. Probably Stardew, is that okay? Can I play some Stardew? <laughs> hmm. Of January? Yeah. It's this month. But... I know I still wanted to have, like, um... A karaoke. Like, an unarchive karaoke. And then maybe that's the time to do the 24-hour restream. I think. That, and then I wanted to have <clears throat> some kind of playthrough or something. A game that I can maybe finish in seven parts? Um, either that or maybe, yeah, we just play Stardew. <laughs> if it's fine with you guys, because maybe we'll do that. But I thought maybe a whole new game would be cool. But one where, like, maybe it would be better to not see chat. Like, Fauna choosing Outer Wilds to not get spoiled was, like, a really good idea. So I'm kind of like, I wonder what would be good. Crash Bandicoot 2! Yeah, maybe something story-heavy. Um, it has, like, puzzles that I don't want to be backseated for, etc. Paper Mario when it comes out. Well, we definitely want to play that. Endless Persona 3 grinding. Oh, what about the game that uh, Kiara got me? What was it? Was it Tunic? Is that what it was? That could be cool. Oh, it was Ori. That's what it is. Ori and the Blind Forest. Who got Tunic? Why did I think of Tunic? Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll try that. <laughs> Red Dead Online with Gura. I hear that that online is really not great and also full of hackers, so I think I'm gonna avoid that. Personally. But thanks for the suggestion. <laughs> yeah, that's just what I heard, but yeah, maybe I'll play that. But I'll need to get to recording. It's definitely a bit of a busy week, but I'll make time. A lot of stuff going on. You know, Taft's concert, too. Gotta rehearse and get ready for that pretty soon here. <clears throat> when is the week not busy, man? Yeah, I always think to myself, oh yeah, I should have time to do these things and these things. Um, and then before I know it, the whole schedule is full. It's all just full. Pre-recorded watch-alongs? I think watch-alongs the one thing that I really don't want to do pre-recorded, because I love just, like, the feeling of, like, the live experience of watching live with you guys. You know? Watch along might be hard to do this time. Yeah. But that's just a it's just a personal choice. A lot of times, like, I have to kind of really choose like what content I'm okay with, like pre-recording for a trip. Um like a pre-recorded karaoke I think is fine and that kind of stuff, but there are a couple instances where I'm like, ah, no, I think that this content, I definitely want to do live kind of thing. You know. 
that's how I feel about a lot of things. You're begging for a tombstone watch along? I wonder what we would watch. Maybe Space Jam? <laughs> I think I just want to watch Space Jam with Advent. I think that's all that it is. Randomly. Why, Mori? Why is particularly Space Jam? I feel like Bibu would be so hype about it, though. And I think her commentary would also be amazing. Oh, you know what? I wonder if she's seen nobody. If she likes John Wick right? I wonder if she's seen nobody. The Lorax. No. <laughs> Never. Oh man, maybe we should watch that. I loved that movie. I thought it was great. It was like a solid movie. Nobody 2 was announced yesterday. Yeah, let's go. Who knew that Saul Goodman could also be just like John Wick? there was a one-time thing yeah we don't we don't talk about that anymore <laughs> you know what's crazy is that i realized that i could have i could have told her so much more about just how insane the quote-unquote fandom was shiori but i i felt like i had like cursed her and I, okay look that's actually probably not true she could have taken it she could have taken it but i got scared okay you no uh-uh I wasn't as crazy as those people. The people that were making, like... Alright, so imagine Undertale, right? Undertale and all of its... All of its fan-made craziness. Like, what was it? Um... They had a bunch of different fan-made universes. Right? <clears throat> a bunch of different fan-made universes with, like, different alternate versions of the characters. Right? Imagine that for the Onceler from the Lorax. So you've got like 1980s Onceler. You've got... You've got Feudal Japan Onceler. You've got Baker Onceler and Basketball Player Onceler and... <laughs> and they're all Cyberpunk Onceler and they're all dating each other on Tumblr. That's literally that. You can't make that shit up. You can't make that shit up. And I need you to believe me when I said your boy stayed far away from that. What are you talking about? I know it doesn't seem like it should be real, but it was. Yep. Nobody could- there really wasn't a good candidate for, like, romance for the Onceler, so people just shipped him with himself. It was weird. Anyway. So, I felt like maybe we wouldn't go into that this time. This time. There are just some things that you don't need to go into. But I'll tell you guys, because I'm sure that many of you know. And if you didn't, well, now you do. Anyway, I haven't been on Tumblr in six years, maybe seven. It's been a long time. There was definitely a turning point where I stopped caring about it. Two hours, ha ha ha. Very funny. There's nothing there for me anymore. It's just Genshin these days. I don't dislike Genshin. I don't have any feelings about it. But there's nothing there for me. <laughs> in that place. I feel like the last big hurrah for me was definitely Undertale. And after that, it was like the Big Bang. My interest in that website just ceased to be. Sorry if you hear a vacuum. 
What a high note to leave on, right? It could have been so much worse. It could have been the one slur, or it could have been super hulak or whatever. I did see a lot of that though in my travels. It could have been worse. So I thank my lucky stars every day. Do my cats play with the vacuum? <laughs> nah, they run away. They hate the vacuum. A lot. But what can you do? Things gotta get clean. Hey, kitty cats, if you hate the vacuum so much, stop making messes everywhere. Okie dokie. So much so that Ghost Cat got rid of one of them. <laughs> he took fate into his own hands against that Roomba. Yep. He did what he had to do. For the sake of him and Tutu. What a hero. <laughs> Never forget. Oh, I wish I could forget. Yeah, that was a rough time. But I love my cats, you know? I can't really get mad at them. I mean, I can get mad at them, but I can't really get mad at them. They're just so cute. They can't be helped. Even if they have moments where they stink. You know? I'm trying to, um, before I invite, like, friends over to my place, like, especially before whenever Advent decides to come, um, I need to... I'm really trying to get rid of the cages and move the litter box somewhere else. Somewhere out of sight, out of mind, before I invite more people over. You know? But it's taking time. Speaking of taking time, shh. I'm not gonna rush on Mume. I should have rushed on myself though. <laughs> I'm not rushing Mume. But I will try to make it simple. I'll try to keep it simple. Kind of figured that this would happen anyway. <laughs> I figured. I had a feeling. Mori, if you don't finish these today, you can't go play your modded Stardew. Wow, they are really right outside the door, huh? Sorry for. Sorry for vacuum noises. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna mute for a sec.
She kind of looks like she's wearing like winter mitts. Hold on. It'll go. It'll stop soon. I promise. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Sorry for the silence. That was just, that was getting on my nerves because I can hear my own like monitor as well. And as it was annoying, <laughs> it was getting to me. Anyway, we're back, baby, we're back. And I think we're almost done here. I'm pretty sure we're almost done here. Draw some music notes so you know that we're singing. Yeah. Cute. I wonder what song we're singing. Maybe Bury the Light. I don't know, Dead Deeds could be. Oh, it's back. No, it's fine, we're, we're good. Remember the motorcycle days, a little vacuum is nothing. Good old ghosty, ghost rider. Hope he's doing well these days. Well, anyway, there we go. Na, na, na. Thank you very much for the request. We're making moves. We're making moves. Nice. Okay. Next up, I wonder what we should do. Okay, next. <laughs> That's kind of a cute idea. I wonder if you'll use this for an icon. Can I draw vacuum chan? Absolutely not. Uh, Repeloid says cute orange robot cat with yellow eyes. Orange robot cat? What would a robo cat look like? Let me see if I can just look up the regular cat form. Proink. Okay, hold on, I got this. Feline. Let's see. Hmm, okay, I think I have an idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe this will be like an icon or something. I don't know. Doraemon, but orange. <laughs> yeah, robot cat. Oh, there's one draw a cat. It's gonna be very cartoony, but it'll be a robot, I promise. I'll make sure it's a robot. I do a very good job drawing a uh, a hyper realistic robot cat. Not gonna lie. Here, let me reset the timer. I feel like when there's two characters, I just don't even bother with the timer because I know it's gonna take longer.
Robo Cat. Robo Doo Doo. Robo Doo Doo Da 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 Da. Head's a little high. What if we did this kind of thing? And the kitty cat just has really big ears. Nya nya. I need to pick a direction that I want to go for like the... Oh, you know what? If we just simplify the shape to be like a football head, like Hey Arnold. Yeah. If it's a robot, you gotta pick a direction and go with it. No abstract shapes, just pick a direction. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, hey Arnold, you guys remember hey Arnold? I remember hey Arnold. Football head? Yeah, that one. The football head one. And then we'll have this in darkness and shadow. So you can kind of see the other side, sort of. And then robot kitty cat tail. Kind of looks like this, but it's like metal pieces of oh, scrap. Like this. Yeah. Did you empathize with Helga Mori? I can't, I mean, not really. <laughs> I thought she was kind of mean. Maybe we should make it a cute one. Yeah. Da -da. And then, yeah, little eyebrows. There's like a metal tail and then the pelt is like kind of angular kind of like this looks like a bib on the kitty cat but it's not it's not and then the cat's got like yeah a core kind of like tony stark yeah right here and a collar yeah and then um let's see These are also like this. Iron Cat. Yeah, it's Iron Cat. God, I love cats. Perfect animal, really. I know not everybody likes cats, but I'm not everybody. Or rather, I'm... Wait. I don't know what I'm saying. Look. If cats have one fan then I'm one of them. If cats have a thousand fans, then I'm a thousand of them. That's not how the saying goes. I'm a little stupid today, sorry. Um, maybe, why should we do this part? Maybe there's like a hinge? Maybe it's just shiny. I don't know. Yeah, that's not how it works. Yeah, I, I kind of figured as much. I'm just, like I said, I'm not very smart today because I've got my drawing focus on. That's okay, we can just keep the pause nice and simple. Orange Robo Cat. Today, hey, what's that supposed to mean? I've been getting smarter. I may be dumb, but I'm not stupid. My favorite Patrick Star quote. I think Patrick said that. It may be a little more angular because he's a robot cat. Your co-worker says that all the time is because it's a good saying. Will you call him Pinhead? Maybe we can add more robot-like things after we've drawn the basic cat. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. It's kind of weird. Streaming for like a long time these days feels like a workout to me. You know? Like when you're done, 
you're really tired and stuff like that and you're like oh man I could really use like a bite to eat and like I'm gonna go chill on my couch and like but it feels nice you know you feel really accomplished I can see why people get addicted to working out that's what Mama Mori says she says you got to be careful about getting addicted to working out right because the feeling afterward is addictive that's how I feel about streaming these days I think you know feeling of yep just just filed in another 10 hour stream it's nice it feels nice i don't know but it definitely makes you tired maybe i could focus more on getting outside and running around if i wasn't streaming all the time but i like it after six years of workout daily still hate it <laughs> Well, maybe not everybody gets into that kind of mentality, but Mama Mori definitely does. Like, often. And she always, like, warns to be cautious about it. I don't really know if Kyle is the same way, and that's why she streams a lot. I think that... For her, she just... She just does it... Because she likes all of it all together, but... The, the before feeling, the after feeling, it's all irrelevant. She just likes all of it. <laughs> but I specifically really kind of like relish that feeling afterward. Like, yeah, I got another one done. Let's go. I feel accomplished. I don't know. I feel like I've done good. Let's see. Um, Yeah, that seems fine. That looks robotic. It's for the love of PC Chan. Mm. Make sure that you give your PC lots of love and care. That PC is begging to be used. Even if it burns sometimes, cherish the rectangle. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I don't know, she just build different. <laughs> what PC? My current PC is extremely strong. That's why Red Dead looks, like, so beautiful on it. I was like, there's no way this is a 2019 game. A 2018, even. I know that that's not a long time ago, by any means, but in the game world, I don't know. I did not expect to see graphics that looked that good. I was like, are you sure this didn't come out today? I should try running Elden Ring on this PC. Maybe I will for the whenever the DLC comes out. Whenever it comes out, you guys know that we're gonna play that non-stop, right? Mm. You think cause GPUs are strong enough to handle it now? Mm, must be. It's gonna look so beautiful. Ah, I'm so glad I can finally see the light. I mean, PS5 is nice and all that, don't get me wrong, but I still think when it comes to really getting the best graphics of all time, it's gonna be PC. Now that I have a PC that can do that. You know? Mm. Oh yeah. That would be kinda nice. Elden Ring, Elden Ring perms for the mods for seamless co uh, combat. Co-op, co-op, that's what you said. Yeah, when are Bebo and I gonna play together? Bebo is really, really strong at that game though. I think in Armored Core, I can take Bibu. It'll still be hard, but I feel like I can take her. If it's Elden Ring, that's a that's a different situation. I don't think... I don't think so. I think it would take a long time and a lot of training. Yeah. But... If it's Armored Core, I can at least put up a really good fight and maybe win sometimes. If I'm using double zimmies and songbirds. Yeah. But armor core is special <laughs> to me. <laughs> oh yeah, I think my order shipped for my PS3 and armor core 4. I'm going to try to see if I can get the online store working um so that I can get for answer there because the physical copy is just really, really, really expensive. It's like 350 bucks. 
I'm like, eh, uh-uh. I already paid an arm and a leg for, for four and for the PS3. So. An expensive game, and rightfully so. <laughs> Oh, you know what might look more robotic? No, maybe not that. Looks cooler in my head. <laughs> Can't wait for Metal Wolf Chaos soon? Yeah, it's on the docket. I heard that it might only take like two streams if we really get into it. We shall see. Shouldn't be a long play though. We shall see. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a long game, apparently. All right. Robot cat. I know you wanted him to be orange with yellow eyes, so let me see if I can just... Very simple. Can't do anything too drastic, but... There, orange! Oh, you know what? And I bet I can do this, too. It's a little over 10 minutes. That's okay. Yeah. There we go. Kind of looks like this cat is from the refined self game universe. Anyway, this is for Reploid. Thank you very much. Okay. Sign here. Robotic meow. 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 Okay. And then let's see. Yeah, cute orange robot cat with yellow eyes. There you go. Ah, oh, I should have it be on the line layer. Just a sec. There you go. Robot cat. Meow. Gotta break your mic again. Yada. Yada. Let me stretch. There ya. Nice stretch. Coffee sip. Time for the reset. Da. Reset. Reset. <laughs> Robo cat purring mode engaged. Um, let's see. Oh, you just met an OG deadbeat of mine, IRL. Has most of my merch, including my first anniversary... Er, first anniversary vinyl. Very impressive collection. Let's go. Merch collecting beat. Nice. I hope you're displaying it well. In a way that makes you happy and feel fulfilled. That would make me happy. Anything. Eh. Okay. 
We're good now. Back to the timer. Dun, 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 dun. What's next? We've got something for Yika now. Hello, Callie. Wanted to ask you to draw the OC in your profile. If you can't, I want a princess deadbeat wearing the crown and hanging out with you. Thanks. So I bet I can draw this. This is cute. Open image in new tab. No problem. Wow. Lots of cute earrings. Like a princess. Nice. Okay, I'll do my best, Yuika. Uh, drawing people's OCs really kind of takes me back, you know, to back in the day. Because that was all I would do back in the day. Especially for making money a long time ago. Long, long time ago. Wah. Memories in the corner of my eye. Anyway. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You bought my earlier albums and I'm planning on buying recent ones. In the recent ones, I sound less hungry and aggressive. Is that an artistic choice? I don't know. I feel like I've felt more so, especially with the genre, with the genre change. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like maybe what you're hearing is like me just kind of like growing up a little bit, I guess. You know, life has been pretty good to me recently. So maybe I'm just like complaining less, I guess. I don't know. Clearly didn't listen to soul food. That's all about all about being hungry. Also, yeah, the production has also definitely approved a lot. So, I don't know. There have been various different things that have you know changed and whatnot. Maybe I just don't really feel the need to to write super angrily as much anymore. You know, I'm pretty satisfied with life, but you know, you get satisfied with life, and sometimes that affects your writing. <laughs> you sound more like Daffy Duck and less like Donald Duck. Can you give your thoughts on this? Yeah, that was also an artistic choice. I just feel like uh, pe more people like relate to Daffy. You know, Donald's a little hard to relate to. Aside from the fact that, you know, he's a bit of an asshole. So, yeah, it was just an artistic choice. But hope you can respect that. <laughs> Donald love. Well, there go the Kingdom Hearts perms, I guess. Oh, cute pearl necklace. Wow, like a princess. Maybe something kind of like that. Might take some liberties here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a pearl necklace here. Just remember that. Oh, whoopsies, didn't start the timer. <laughs> okay. You think Donald's more relatable? He's more real? Well, maybe that's just a personal... personal observation, but... Let's see, make head a little smaller. That's just your opinion. Maybe... I kind of want her sitting up straighter. Which will then mean we have to adjust the shoulder. Yeah. Wow, long, beautiful hair. Add more of the details in a little bit. But for now, we're just working on the composition. A lot of times I add the details just on the fly, you know? Sometimes that just works better for me. But the main striking point about this is definitely the hair.
Nice makeup. Nice collarbone? Yeah. I love a nice collarbone. How about you guys? Do you guys also love a nice collarbone? Also, if you guys ever want to, like, I don't know, get these, like, finished or something like that, feel free. Yeah, yeah, you do. Good taste. Recently, there's been so much good fan art, especially of your boy, and I just feel super grateful. I want to give a big shout out to, um, to those that make fan art for all of us. You know, I thought that like by now it would go down quite a bit, but I feel like it's increasing these days. <laughs> I'm like surprised there's too much of it. I'm like, whoa, how do I give all of it attention? <laughs> because there's so much of it. Yeah. Got myself some new deadbeats. Yeah, they do appear here and there, which also surprises me. All right, let's lower the ears. You never know exactly where the ears are going to sit until I draw the eyes. Okay. There we go. Mm. Do I ever feel weird seeing Fenrir on myself? Nope. Just happy. Just happy. Even if, even if there's fan art that's like... Special. <laughs> Special fan art, you know? You get what I'm saying? Fan art that isn't just normal fan art, but maybe has some other things going on in it. I'm still like, oh, thank you. It's good to be grateful. You know, some yabais here in the hay. You know what? Tasteful or not tasteful. Thank you for drawing me. I don't know if I'll save it to my computer, but... <laughs> but thank you. I don't know. I just don't want to be ungrateful or anything like that and I appreciate all of it I really do but I might not save it to my computer <laughs> I might not save it in general but but thank you anyway yeah maybe not every <laughs> Look, man, freedom to draw what you want, all right? If it's weird, it's weird, though. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. Not from now, at least. If you debut through the Caliax Lorax fan art. See, that's weird. That's weird, but... We live in a world where you can draw as you please. Okay? <laughs> so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what you can and can't do. I may think it's weird, but I'm not gonna tell you not to do it. fan art you've ever seen that you can mention here? Nah, I, I don't know. It's... I don't want them to know that I saw it. <laughs> but I've seen a lot of very interesting pieces, that's for sure. Mostly on Pixiv. Sometimes people commission things that are just wild. And I'm like, oh, that's something that people are interested in. I didn't even know that. Okay. And it's just a big eye-opener. You know, but I, I like to think of myself as like somebody who's kind of open and just... For the most part, kind of laid back about things, so it's... It's whatever. But I'm just like, oh, well I learned something new today. I 
I don't know, these days especially, I'm just kind of hard to... <laughs> I'm kind of hard to offend because I've seen it all. <laughs> Truly, I've seen it all. I think that Crony and I have had some conversations about this stuff where we're just kind of... Desensitized people? If that makes any sense. Our boys drawn those things. Well, that definitely helps. I'm used to it, you know? We've been in the trenches. We've seen it all. You know? I'm trying to figure out how the bangs go here. I might have to take some liberties. Very cute design, though. The half-twin tails are very good. Because we've got the twin tails, but then... There's also the rest of the hair that just, like, goes down. Could have requested a loot drawing from you and you would have done it? Absolutely not! You gotta read the rules! Silly. Go read the rules, they're in the description. I just haven't pinned them because commissions aren't open right now. I'm finishing the ones that have already been requested. Read the rules. She made might and it was lewd. There was nothing lewd about the octopus and grasshopper story. There was nothing lewd about that, and if you think there was, then there's something wrong with you. And I hope... I hope you get it figured out, Deadbeat. Get some help. As Kyla says, get some help! Dino Mori was kind of lewd. Oh yeah, you see that in your dreams? Is Dino Mori what you see when you close your eyes at night? You know what? That's not fair. You don't need to get some help. Everybody's got the <laughs> Everybody's got whatever they like. Just like what you like, Deadbeats. And you shouldn't let me or anybody else tell you what to like. Because that's sad. Only sad people do that. So. It's more like Yoshi Mori. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I hope these eyes are symmetrical. <laughs> Being symmetrical. I don't. It did not look like Yoshi. And I agree with you on that one, but the people see what they want to see. Open your third eye. Deadbeats. Reject the status quo. I know where I was going with that. What if I were to just become a cult leader? Has there ever been a VTuber that's just become a cult leader? Do you think? And like, if not, how would that go? Maybe Kiara? Does Kiara count? I don't know, I feel like that's all just kind of silly, though. Like, oh, ha ha ha, not a cult, but, you know, we totally are a cult, like it's a joke. I'm talking honest to God. Serious cult. How did I make these... Ah, oh, there we go, that looks better. This is another one I've taken too much time on, but... I can't help if you're cute! And there are a lot of details here. Ina, not serious, but kinda serious? Maybe a little bit. Alright, I'll try to speed it up a little bit. Eat it up a little bit. 
Just a bit. Just a little, just a wee little itty bitty bit. Kawaii. Every fan base can be a cult in some way. Oh, no! All right, that was one pen drop. Guys are a little big, I'm gonna make them smaller. So don't worry if they look lopsided for a second. They won't look that way forever, I promise. And that's one pen drop. Hey, speaking of Ina. I'm gonna have to switch the tapes in a minute here because this one's been playing for a while. This particular holo life, lo fi. I should have drawn the eyes on a separate layer. That would have made my life a lot easier, but oh well. Yeah, jam. Let's jam, Deadbeats. Jam. Yeah, whatever. If I take a long time on some and a short time on others, I'm not gonna stress about it. I pretty much accepted my fate. That this will take a long time. <laughs> but hey, it's what I wanted to do. You know? And even though we're going to switch to Deadbeat Sonas after today, so like when we open it up again for a little bit, you can still request whatever you want. I might add a guideline, like only one character. Um, just for the sake of, I really do want to be able to finish all of them and not just keep putting them off. Um, but after that, I think we'll still do these every once in a while for members. Maybe once a month or something like that. So, but Deadbeat Sonas will do for everybody. Yeah. I mean, I think doing it as members won't really change the, n <laughs> the number, <laughs> but... Somebody else also made a good suggestion um, of maybe doing like, um, not really a speed paint, but like upload a video of me drawing them. Um, if it gets to be like too much um, at a certain point. So maybe for the members one, if it does get to be like too, too many, then I might finish some off stream and like, you know, record me drawing them, you know? Can't believe this is how I'm getting back into drawing. Kind of nice though. I missed it. And I don't have to stress too much about it because, well, technically it is, if you're receiving money for it, I suppose you could say it is professional, but I'm more just having fun with it. I know I take a long time on everything, but it's not like I'm stressed or anything, so. Anyway, I think we're almost done here. This is an interesting crown. It's just a bunch of pearls. I have to draw a bunch of circles. That's okay. Just get good at drawing circles, Mori. Simple as that. Just get good at drawing circles. If you can't draw circles, what good are you to the art community? Something like this. Might not be perfect, but... Let's see. That's probably good. Yeah, something like that. Hmm. After drawing the rest of the owl is easy. <laughs> After just the one, the one circle. Okay. Yeah, I think something like this is good. 
I spent a lot of time on that. <laughs> Maybe more than I should have. Whoopsies. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Da -da. Okay, um... Hopefully it's okay. This one's for Yuika. Thank you for the claps. We got another one down. Now following that one, we've got something for Squawkers. Hey Squawkers, what's going on? Name Squawkers. Request? Oh, that stretching. <sighs> My icon or mouse flower combo deadbeat rat. If not comfortable with animals, Mori Sang, you got this. Cool. Let me take a look at that icon real quick. Oh, is that a cute little mouse coming out? Oh! Coming out of a flower! Wow! Isn't that just precious? Cute! A hamster in flower! I can draw that! I think! <laughs> Flowers! Flower! 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 Flower, flower, flower. <laughs> Cute. Aww. You think that he's comfy in there? You think he likes it in there? God, I love cute animals doing cute things. Beautiful flower. Bales. It's bales. It's bales. Hey, cows. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. It's a fairly simple request, but I want to get it right nonetheless. Give him like a little heart nose. And the whiskers are very important. <laughs> whiskers. Is that a cauliflower? Get it? A cauliflower? And he's got like the little bumps. <laughs> Enough! Wow, cute! Look at the little baby. Hey, for this speed run, you know, maybe we took a little too much time on the Yuika princess drawing, but this might be a time save now. This might be a time save. But still, I want to make sure it's cute. I don't want to rush through it. It's just nice and simple, you know? Nice and simple. Also, don't feel bad if, if you ask for things that aren't nice and simple. I'll work with it. I'm the one that didn't give guidelines, so that's on me. But I'll make it good, I promise. Looks like a tulip. No, it's a cauliflower. <laughs> we just decided that. It's a, ca it's a cauliflower. I think it's a tulip. <laughs> I think, yeah, it is one. Astute eye, deadbeat. Fluffy. 
He's more fuzzy though than fluffy. More moko moko than fua fua. I think I'll keep them on the sketch layer because if I just did it like this, it would overpower the image, I think. Yeah. Little blushies. having a great time. Yeah, he is. He looks so happy. You know, I think that they look good the way that they are right now, to be honest. Yeah, maybe like a little more visible. There we go. Comfy cozy for squookers. <laughs> Can't overdo the whiskers. Because then they'll... They'll cover him up. I don't want to cover him up. All right, sign here. Okay. Four. Squookers. There we go. Cute little flower hamster. So we've filled yet another one, you guys. We've filled yet another one. Don't ask about the empty one. It's what K-Walk wanted. <laughs> we've filled another one. <laughs> Cute. I'd kill for that handwriting. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. So we'll go ahead and get that one out of the way. It isn't completely empty. It still has my sign on it and everything. I mean, it was a request. It was a request. It's getting cold in here. So cold. Oh, are you cold? I am getting so cold. I want to put my clothes on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got here for the next request. Love the stream idea. Request options. Fuawa and Mokoko under a blanket with hot chocolate. Snowboarder crony. Ame singing karaoke in a VR headset. Narissa in the rapper hat. Signed to Jake, please. These are all really good ideas. I like all of them, but I think I'm gonna draw the dogs. <laughs> Cause I know that people may be like, oh, that's two characters, but I have an idea. If they're under a blanket, you pretty much are only drawing their heads. Dog time. Bow, 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 bow. Bow, 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 bow. And they're together. Bow, bow. Bow, 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 bow. They're so excited whenever they bow bow, you know? Like there's always so much energy in their bows. I really respect that. <laughs> I respect the energy in your bark, ladies. <laughs> there's a blanket around them. They're sharing a blanket. Like so. Dun, 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 dun. 
Da -da 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 -da. I think I have something I can use as a reference. Yeah. Okay. Mogogo. We have Mogogo here. Do they also have double ears? I can't tell. I think they might, but I'm not sure. Do these dogs have four ears? I think so, yeah. I'm pretty sure that I've seen their double ears before. But the hair hides them, yeah, until they start moving and swaying back and forth. Bow, 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 bow! think they did you thought it was just hair I don't know I guess if they move around you can probably see a bit better but the swaying back and forth so let's see yeah here we go can't forget the headband like right here They look cozy. Dog. <laughs> dog. Okay. Next dog. are interesting because they're more like perked up than Mokoko's ears. I just noticed. If you look really closely, they stand up like taller than Mokoko's ears. Is this dog? Dog. Wow. I guess because she's the older sister. Now these are less wavy, they're more like... They're kind of on the straighter side. Yeah. And longer hair... On the side of the face than Mokoko. The basic shape. Band aid and clips. Headband. Okay, I think I kind of got it. We'll have her hair kind of like go behind her. Q. 
keep getting them confused. Who's who? Fuawa is the the long-haired, soft-speaking one. And Mokoko is the short-haired, uh, really kind of fiery, ganky one that speaks kind of bratty, but like in a good way. I don't know. I think they're extremely, extremely easy to tell apart. Yeah. Fuawa isn't the Chihuahua, and Mokoko isn't Fuawa, exactly. That's all you need to know. I'm gonna give them mittens. They've got mitts. They've got winter mitts on. That's right. Winter mitts. And that's... That's how I get away from drawing fingers. older sister she needs to be bigger da, da, da. Mokoko is not Mokoko <laughs> that doesn't sound right <laughs> that sounds incorrect okay Baba let's start doing the lines Flipping through multiple references. Oh, I think this line's a bit too thick. How about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. This is a mitt. It's a winter mitt. Just so you know, that's why there aren't fingers. Because it's, it's a winter mitt. No further questions asked. Will not be taking for any further questions. It's a winner mitt. about changing the ear the headphones to be earmuffs that would be cute that would be cute i feel like they're probably warm enough though probably warm enough okay i think i think we're going at an okay pace it might be a bit longer They've all been a bit longer. <laughs> it's okay. Not a big deal. Yeah, something like that. Please! There we go. Okay, that works. Hetobando.
Kelly casually poisons the doggos. Why would I do that? Oh, wait, hold on. It's chocolate. <laughs> Oopsies. Forgot about that. Sorry, ladies. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. They'll be fine. It's liquid. It's, it's different. It's dog safe chocolate. Yeah, exactly. Now we're cooking. That's definitely what it is. Trust me. I feel like every time I say okay, it's like a checkpoint. It's coffee! No, no, no. I don't think dogs can drink coffee either, guys. I think it's better to just keep all of that away from dogs. All of it, all of it's gotta go. Here's a little wrong. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 And then there's the blanket. Oh, I totally forgot about the blanket that's around them. Because they do have a blanket around them right now. Yeah. It's the main part of the image, silly. Bow. And the other one says bow on it also. I'll do the eyes later. Changes to say owl. <laughs> it's just a mirror image. That's all. I can't forget Mokoko's clips either, because she does have like some clips as well that I only drew on Flawless so far. Yeah, like these. But the ahoges are important. Always have to check to make sure I'm saying that right. The other way is, it's not good. Not good, the other way. The other one that I always get it confused with. The other way is bad. Yada. Yeah. Ahoge. Yes, Garbo guy, like that. <laughs> Yada. Very pure over here. Hi, Kelly. Have a nice evening. Take care of yourself. Sometimes my friends just have so many details on them that I really want to make sure I get right. 
Because I guess I could simplify things a little bit, but I can't bring myself to. Okay, there's the blanket. There's the blanket. Here's also the blanket. And here's the blanket. Well, what hair? Bow number two. Yeah. Also, winter mitt. It's a winter mitt kind of day. You know, it's still weird though, because it kind of fluctuates between being extremely cold in Japan and just not really cold at all. And I was really mad because, you know, not every 7-Eleven is selling oden right now. Oden's really delicious. If you come to Japan in like the colder months and you go to the convenience store, you can find this stuff called oden. And it's really good. You get like daikon and like uh, noodles and like, like hard-boiled egg and stuff like that and like a soup thing. Yeah, but not every 7-Eleven has it. Yeah. The only one that has it for me is like really kind of far away. It's just annoying. I don't want to go all that way for it's just some Oden. Forget it. Might as well just make it myself. There we go. Blanket. And then put some shadow here, I guess. Just to show that it's like in, in the shadows. So that's why it's not really drawn out properly. Wow. <laughs> They're in a snuggie. Well, Dan cooking stream. I think I'd be terrible at making it. It's very simple to make, and yet I still, I still feel like I'd be bad at it. Just by some miracle. though I'm very confident at. <laughs> yeah, bow 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 Hmm, data. I'm just gonna keep it simple. <laughs> Not try and go further than that. So this is for Jake. And then, sign. You wish you had access to Japanese curry where you are? Is it really that hard to find? I wanted to make some uh, for Mama Mori, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll buy like some curry roux and bring it back from Japan. But I have a distinct memory of like my college years and um, me going to Japan and coming back with curry and my friend who likes to cook being like, thanks Mori, but I was already able to buy that here. <laughs> Maybe it depends on like what kind of stores you have around you. Well, here you go. I hope you like it. That's for Jake. Is it just a, a doodle of some bow bows? Dogs. Oh, I'm not sleepy. Ah! Don't know where to look, eh? Oh, the golden curry is easy to find in the States. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the one. It was the golden curry. So this time I made sure to get different curry so Mama Mori couldn't be like, ah, yes. I've seen this before. Yeah. It's fun to make on your own, though. Hmm. Ah! Wah, coffee. Um, let's see. Next up, the next request we have is from Shahel. <laughs> I would, it would be great to see a drawing of you standing on top of an armored core posing like Kamina from Gurren Lagann. That sounds like a great idea. Let me see if I can Google the simplest armored core on the planet. Because it's a, it's a good idea. Alright, let's see. Maybe I can make this work. Uh, let's 
let's see, open image in a new tab. A legally distinct armored core. I'm just gonna copy it exactly. Because <laughs> I am not a mech drawer, but... I'll try and make it work. I'll try to make it work. Exact copy, armor core. Did I hear about an upcoming Gurren Lagan movie? You mean that's the rescreening in the in theaters, right? They're showing the the movies again. Yeah, I saw it, um, I saw it in Japan. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'll get a chance to go see it again in America. Because, I mean, I'll be there. I'll be there getting some unfinished business taken care of, so... Might as well. Draw the basic big shape of it. What a big lad. It's just, it's such an abstract shape. To simplify it a little bit. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> There's a reason some artists specifically don't draw mechs. Oh yeah, <laughs> and we'll say in the commission the commission rules. No mechs. I feel like the usual the usual suspects of drawing restrictions that I see in a lot of commission posts are no furries and no mechs. Those are usually the, the ones that I see people specify, because... Yeah, I don't know. My, my friends are really good at drawing mechs. I, on the other hand, I have no experience, so... Everyone, the man furry. Mecha Furries. And here's me. With my cape flowing in the wind. And my hair. Yeah, I get the vision. <laughs> I get the vision. Is this Gurren Lagan? You bet it is. Now it is. It's armor. It's armored Lagan. Now you guys can really see those pixels. It's all right. I think it's fine. Great. 
fair use. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if Japan knows what that is. So I gotta be careful. there's gonna be people are saying there's gonna be like armored core DLC I want to play it now but what about that Elden Ring DLC aren't they also working on that seems kind of busy yeah there is no fair use rule in Japan sad sad oh sad Shadow of the Erd Tree first. Give me Shadow of the Erd Tree, please. I'm waiting for it. Any our wife hold on a second maybe for maybe for me and Bibu any dead beats you watch yourselves do what you want on your own playthroughs but there will be no slander about sharing Rani on my playthrough unless it's me and Bibu we can split her in half all right I mean, that's a solution. I don't know if it's a good solution, though, Deadbeat. I don't know if it's a solution that she would agree to. Well, maybe she would. Maybe she can do that. I don't know. We're all walking through the stars with Rani. Yeah, two arms each. I don't know. We'll make it work. and purposes it is a cool idea this year it takes a second for me to draw because <laughs> there's a lot going on yeah and we still have pieces of the mech that are in front can't disregard those We also can't forget my, um, my spikes, my spikes, those are important too. Yeah. That's <laughs> built differently, literally built differently. built different she do be I was watching the um the trailer video uh, for metal wolf chaos and the voice acting was just amazing like the way the president like yells and man real good 10 out of 10 it's the best it's the voice acting of all time baby no spoilers don't worry I know what the premise is I mean the trailer didn't exactly spoil anything for me so we're fine we're fine but yeah what a treasure a national treasure even let's go mr. president 
They never localized it to the U.S.? Yeah, so why does... But, I mean, the English sounded perfectly native. And I can play it in the U.S., so... I don't know. It was, was it always in English? And they just picked up random people on the street in Japan that were foreigners? Thank you for the gift, Japan. Oh, they did localize it. Up until now, it was Japan only. Gotcha. And it was all Japanese voice acting. Okay. Sorry, I don't mean to insult the people that, that voice acted in it. Sorry. It was, it was a recent localization. I see. It's a thing of beauty. What I'm saying is it's really good. Yeah, they localized it when it came to Steam. I did see that it came to Steam recently, and I was like, oh, is this a new game? And then I, I looked at the graphics, and I was like, oh, this is a... Uh, this is not a new game. This is... This is a game being ported. Okay, got it. Now I got it. I understand. Now I understand. Alright, this is uh, probably an AC. <laughs> Just believe me. God bless America. Hey, the president is just doing what he's gotta do. For the good old U.S. of A. some clouds in the sky so that we know that, you know, this is high up. Uh, anyway, let's go. For Shahel, thank you very much for the request. Thank you, thank you. Pro tag at its finest. Yeah, I'm the main character. Wow. Feels kind of nice. Four. Shail. Thank you very much for the request. Nice, nice idea. This is what we've got so far for the brand new batch. The new Bow Bow Batch. Bow Bow. <laughs> Bow bow, Bibu. <laughs> forget, forget it, Bibu. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about the Among Us. <laughs> about the Among Us thing again. Bow bow, B word. <laughs> All right, I'm out of coffee, so it's time to order Starbuckies to get some more caffeine in my system. I feel like we're pr making pretty good progress considering how much time has passed, and we've got a pretty good chunk in there, so... Oh, yay. Gotta bow it out. Bow, bow, B-word. What, what did she mean by that? Well, let's see. What do we want? Hmm. Oh, it's past lunchtime, so I might as well get some quiche. Quiche could be nice. Quiche is pretty yum. Um, and then triple shot espresso with a shot of espresso. So it's a quadruple shot of espresso. Qu a quadruple shot espresso. Check out. Yeah, it's okay. I got food. He's just kind of small, but that's okay. It's all that I need, you know? It's all that I need to, to curb the munchies. Sounds like a bad idea. Shh. <laughs> I'm pretty similar to Bay in that I'm just... I'm a little desensitized to caffeine, you know? Can't be helped. Let me take a tiny break. Maybe we can change the, the record. Uh, let's see. How about some bossa nova? For some happy vibes. Sounds good to me. Mm. Happy positive vibes. Mm. I'm gonna rest my hands for a sec. Ah, 
Yeah, I guess. Sleepy, but I'm not sleepy. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe some deadbeats have noticed that Mori's been putting more attention into, like, being positive these days. You know? I worry that there might be people that think it's, like, fake. You know? But the truth is, um, I feel like I just got so tired of, like, having a bunch of negativity in my life. You know? And a lot of it was self-inflicted. Because I got sick and tired of it, I decided, why don't... I don't know, why don't we just try and be more positive on stream? And like, what kind of idol do I want to be? Do I want to be one that like, makes people feel negative or makes people feel positive? And I think there's a way to do that without like being a fake person, you know? So I'll keep it real with you guys, don't worry. But I'd like to to incorporate like my own trying to to make life more positive and share that with you guys, you know? And plus, I think it's also really important to remember that human beings are, are like multifaceted, right? And did you guys know, scientifically, um, most of us, most of us um, change the way that we act around certain people, but it's not being inauthentic. It's just you giving a different side of yourself to someone. For example, I'm still me when, when I talk to Shiori, but it's a different, if it's a different side of me, it's a different filtered side of me that's still me. But I talk very differently to Milky Queen, for example, or the, the Bao Baos, the twins, you know? But it's still, it's still me. I don't feel like I'm not being myself, you know? Because sometimes I feel like if I say certain things to, to certain members in a certain like way, from knowing their personality, I, I worry that it might shock them or they won't know how to respond to it. You know? I think in social situations, it's pretty normal to be a shapeshifter. Like, like code switching or something, you know? When you speak a different language to someone who speaks a different language than you, people that speak different languages, I don't know. Um, I think socially, that's like a very normal thing. Yeah, anyway, I was thinking about that recently and I wanted to mention it. Yeah. <laughs> she already did that for you too. I think it's super normal. <laughs> It's a very normal thing, you know? We aren't, we aren't um, just like 2D personality beings, you know? We may appear on your screen in two dimensions, but we're still very three-dimensional people um, that have different sides of ourselves that we show to specific people, and, and you choose who you show um, like certain sides of yourself to. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> They're real to me. People have layers like ogres have onions. So humans are like onions too. Which means Shrek is like humans. Anyway, en enough Shrek. <laughs> this is said in Carl Jung's Red Book, which Persona's based its lore on. Really? I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. I'm a shapeshifter. But yeah. <laughs> it's me standing on a giant toaster. It's an armor core, but it does kind of look like it. I guess it could be a fancy toaster. An armor core style toaster. Yeah. I want a toaster that is shaped like an armor core, but like a small one. Hmm. Yeah. The early Persona games were blatant about that influence. I actually didn't really play too much of them, but... I did, I did purchase them. I still have them with that old PSP in a box somewhere. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. I saw like a, a, a meme one time that said, um, like don't with uh, Persona 1 and 2 fans, we don't exist. And it made me laugh cause, cause I know it's not true, but, but the way it was said, just, it was funny. <laughs> Because, yeah, I feel like the, the vast majority of quote-unquote, like, normal fans out in the, the real world are, like, s some of them have played Persona 3, but most all of them have definitely played Persona 4 and 5 and not the others. <laughs> yeah. P1 and P2. 3 through 5, eh? There were Persona games before 5? Five? 5 really made it blow up. 
I thought that it was decently popular from 4 alone, and I guess it was, but not to the level that Persona 5 kind of elevated it to. Yeah. Didn't you say you like Lisa from P2? Yeah, she pretty. Like I said, I have played them before, but not really deeply. And I definitely didn't finish them. Four was a big spike and five was an insane spike. I wonder what six will do. Will it push Persona towards the mainstream? I want, well, Persona five already kind of made it decently mainstream, but not like Red Dead, Call of Duty, uh, Elden Ring, Dark Souls kind of mainstream where like people, people really, people who don't even really care much for anime like know about it kind of thing. But it's kind of mainstream. Persona 3 is really interesting because it's clearly something very new, but there's still some of Persona 1 and 2 atmosphere in there. Yeah, and it's much darker. I could feel like that darkness was still kind of in there. You know? But... I don't know if we need to go any further mainstream. I mean, yeah, to be honest. Maybe that's just me being... I don't want to say selfish. I don't think it's a selfish thing to to not want the thing that you like to go super, super mainstream because super, super mainstream has like a lot of facets to it that are kind of yucky and not good, right? And I think you can still have like a lot of fans of something without it going super hardcore mainstream. You know, minions. <laughs> oh, minions. I don't know. The gate needs to be kept a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a bit. Am I a believer in gatekeeping? Um... It depends. It really depends. Because I'm not naive enough to think there aren't really, really awful people in the world. <laughs> I'm not naive enough. But at the same time... At the same time, um, I think not everybody is terrible. <laughs> um is a great answer. <laughs> to an extent. But, anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's a topic for never. Um, the, the next request that we're going to draw is something from Marcus Manessas. Uh, you would like me to draw you a deadbeat wearing a chicken mask, <laughs> throwing small Callie into a black hole, or you and me doing a rider kick together. Choose which one is easier to draw. Gotcha. Okie dokie. Sounds good. Um, chicken mask? What kind of chicken mask are we talking about? Like, Hotline Miami chicken mask? Or... Because that could be kind of cool. Throwing a small Cali into a black hole. Yeah, that could be cool. I like that. Alright. Nice. Like, Hotline Miami. Alright. I can make that happen. Let me just go look up a reference. Miami... Mask. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's straight up, it's just a chicken. Cool. <laughs> Gotta play the soundtrack while you draw it though. Don't know if I can. But I know Kiara really liked that game, right? Didn't she play it? Which makes sense because you know chicken. I'm gonna draw you winding up. It's a chicken mask here. And you're holding the small. Since I'm drawing a chicken, I instinctively started giving you like wings, like chicken wings. <laughs> Oopsies, I'll turn it into a regular old deadbeat sweater, don't worry. It is one of the most violent games you've ever played. I mean, I can definitely, I can see that. I can see where that might happen. Small Cali. Small Cali says, we. It's a puzzle game where the solution is violence. 
sounds fun. We're winding up a throw. And then there's a black hole up here. I know it kind of looks like Saturn, but like, trust me, I've kind of seen what black holes look like. They look kind of weird. It, you'll, you'll see, you'll see. You'll understand. It is a really amazing game. I feel like I want to watch Kiara play it. And since you're still a deadbeat, I'm gonna make sure that you have the, the skeletal fist. Jackets kind of swaying in the wind with the impact of the, the throw. As we're winding up. Yeah, I've seen a black hole or two in my time. Let's see, you gotta aim for the black hole, so you gotta look at it. Yeah, and then chickens look like this, I think. I'm looking at one, I, I really am. Deadbeat shirt. Deadbeat ribs. You know there's a skeleton in there. Goodbye, Small Callie, see you later. Or never. Small Callie is going to a different universe. She's going back to her home universe. Where Small Ame is. No, not into the wormhole. Yes, into the wormhole. It's where you belong. Go back to your home universe. You need more small Cali. People really love small Cali these days. It surprises me. I mean, she's been around for a while, but... I think all the smalls are chaotic, though. The small myths. Every single one of them is chaotic. It's not just me. <laughs> but I guess I, I just make more shorts about small Callie. That's definitely, that's a chicken. And then the chickens have like the gobbler. Yeah, like that. And then small Callie is here just vibing. I'm gonna have to turn the canvas around. She looks like a potato. <laughs> Why does she look like a potato? There I am. Yeah. I'm having a ball. Because she is. Yeah, potato. Ex potato. No, small Callie's flat. For now, in this dimension. In this dimension. But not in her own dimension. Don't do it. No, we need her for the comedy. How oh, could you? All oh, the small mists are flat. Yep. Even Ame and Kiara. Finally, we're all on the same level as Gura and Ina. It was really funny because when I first like met up with everybody for the first time um, in Discord, <laughs> Kiara said, so ladies, <laughs> one of the first things that Kiara ever said was, 
Um, so how is everybody doing in the, the chest area? I see three flat boards. <laughs> this is the first thing. I forget who, who it was that said, wow, rude. <laughs> but then Ames surprised everyone. Yeah, three. Because she thought that Ame was also flat. A Wawa classic. <laughs> I see three flat boards. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Back in the day, Ame sure showed us. <laughs> Ame showed us all. <laughs> when she took off her coat. And then we saw the truth. Alright, I think I can outline this now. Time to eat. <laughs> then I was a teammate for life. Afterward? <laughs> After the jacket came off? Oh, deadbeat. Deadbeat. I gotta slap the mess out of you. Small Callie's like, where are we going? To hell. <laughs> You're going to hell. <laughs> oh, chests are good. Yeah, they all have treasure in them. They're all treasures. Dun, 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 dun. True that until they're a mimic. <laughs> no. I could see that as being like a pretty interesting character design though for like a crazy anime. We've already seen anime though where, where girls have their boobs be weapons. We've seen that already. But there's always ways to make it even more interesting, I suppose. Bone hands. Yeah, it's not a new concept per se. Not exactly the newest. Austin Powers. Yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Mm, just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Drawing bone hands can be kind of difficult though because they just don't they don't work like normal human fingers, so I'm like, dang. Where would this connect to and where would this go? It's a bit difficult to figure out. I'll figure it out. I'll just draw regular hands right now. Wait, hold on. Oh, I'm doing the same pose. Thumb is on the inside, yeah, so the thumb is okay. This would be the pinky finger. This is why I gave the twins mittens. <laughs> the last thing I want to think about right now is how to draw hands. The thumb would be lower. In this kind of pose. You like down there. Yeah, in fact, you like really kind of wouldn't even see it, actually. There we go, we solved the puzzle. And then here's the main bone for the hand. Yeah. Figured it out. I'm a master puzzle solver. No, but I can be if it involves cats. I also, I got the okay for Mori's managed meticulously, so... Maybe we'll play that during the charity stream. That could be kind of fun. Okay. Because I know they worked hard on that. If you guys make fan games, make sure that you have, like, your email available somewhere. Because company likes to reach out to people via email. Yeah. Otherwise, I might not get to play it or it'll take a really long time. Not fax machine? Nope. It's weirdly enough. Not fax machine. I'll give it my best. 
I don't know if I'll do as well, though, because it's, it's me and not cats, but anyway. You're surprised they don't prefer snail mail? <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe something, someday things will change here, but for now, it is what it is. Yeah, we throwing. We throwing small Cali today. Send her back home. Back to her home universe. Whee! Probably need to turn the canvas around again. Typical deadbeat attire usually ends up just being like jacket and sweatpants. I'm sure some of you guys dress nice and dapper, but it just kind of seems to be the default for us. I feel just nice and simple to draw, that's for sure. Okay, small Cali, get over here. Yeah. Oh, I'm not sleepy. Why would I be sleepy? I got a ton of sleep to be on. Did I? No, nah, it was probably about exactly eight hours. I spent a ton of time downloading Stardew mods, and I really thought to myself, I was like, "Am I really? Am I going to be able to? Uh, am I going to be able to actually like?" do this? Are they really going to work? Or am I going to get some kind of error? And I was definitely worried about that. But then I ran the game and it was fine. It took a while to load everything in, but then once it loaded in, it was no problem. It was easier than I thought. Oh, it's more about patterns than just prior sleep amount. Really? Interesting. I guess I can see that. It's a game in and of itself. Mm. I got the tractor mod too. I'm really excited to be able to use that. And the Stardew Valley mod scene seems like really, really quite expansive. I got Stardew Valley expanded. So there are like new characters and stuff. And I got like the boarding house one too. I haven't gotten some of the, the other, like, content expansions with new characters, because I want to just do Expanded first. Yeah. And then once I've, you know, made some more money and befriended the, the Expanded characters, then I'll probably try the other ones. Yeah. It's wild with how much it adds. Yeah, I like the pink-haired girl. She seems fun. I'm gonna romance her. And I got the multiple spouse one. So I can romance as many people as I want. Yay! I still wish they had like a rival marriage one though. That's the type of mod that I'd want to make, but I don't know, maybe it complicates the main game too much. But you're looking particularly head paddable tonight. Dozo! <laughs> Rune Factory 2 did its best. <laughs> yeah, I really hope that we get a remake of Harvest Moon Animal Parade. I guess it would be Story of Seasons Animal Parade now, but that was seriously my favorite. I'm gonna marry everyone, yeah. They're going to be powerless against my charms. I guess. My character's charms. Mori charms are kind of, you know, it's a, it's an acquired taste. But my character has like, um, long sweater arms. Cause I got the, I got the long sweater sleeve mod and then I got a special new hairstyle. Yeah. 
like a high ponytail. It's also a mod. <laughs> okay, let's see. Black hole kind of looks like the horizon kind of like melts into the line. Kind of like that. Hold on. And then there's a detail I'm forgetting, but I'm gonna look it up. I'm teasing you with what you'll never see. Yeah, because I'll get in trouble. Even if I submit all of these mods for approval. Ooh, wow, shiny. They sure are scary. It's so cool. Okay. Um, it's kind of like, how do I say? There's like, um, Kind of like this. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Right into outer space. It's like the end of Only Up. Yeah, exactly. Wow, black holes sure are cool. If humanity ever got sucked into a black hole, at least we'd be going out in style. Check out that cool abyss, you guys. Nice. Make the shot, take the shot. Take the shot, Marcus, do what you gotta do. So I should give you some feathers. There you go. Yay! <laughs> See a small Callie? No! You know I'll be back. You know I'll be back. There we go. Boom, ba boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Four. And let me sign this exactly correctly. Would Small Callie bump into Sana? Maybe along the way. Four. Marcus. Menaces. There we go. Yay, thanks for the request. A good request it was. Yeet! Fly away now, fly away! Nice request. Brink. I'm gonna get... Brink. Thank you. Um, the next request that we have is for Naweed. What's going on, Naweed? Let's see, the absolute smuggest Kiara I can draw. Any other details are up to you. Wow, okay. Don't forget the feathers. If you need a backup, Drindle Kiara Doodle would also be lovely. All right, really, really smug Kiara? You got it. I'm now pulling up a reference. Let's see. You love that song, Teddy Lloyd, great. Agreed. Let's see. Smug Yuhawa. <laughs> okay. I think I got this. Dun 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 dun. I think I got this. Hold on. I'm gonna be right back. Let me go check on my cats, and I'll be right back, and we're gonna draw the smuggest Kiara of all time. You'll see. It's gonna be the smuggest. Trying to get all the images in there. Okay, be right back. Don't go anywhere, cause I'll BRB.
triple shot of espresso definitely tastes like espresso. And back, scatter. Run. Run. Hi. I have it. Nah. Anyway. Holy heart palpitations, Mori. Yeah. Ready for smug Kiara? I have an idea. She's gonna look over her shoulder, maybe. And look at you smug- smugly. Yeah, it's the shaft head tilt. Yeah. Shaft? You don't know Shaft? Shaft is an animation studio. And a lot of their characters do this head tilt. Kiara also really loves the Monogatari series. Shaft. Shaft. They also did Sayonara Zetsubo Sensei, did they not? I think they did. I'm like 99% sure they did. Yes, they did. In fact, I know they did. Okay, let's see. It goes, it kind of goes in like this. It goes in and then out. Smuggy wawa, smuggy wawa. Great timing as well with Kiara enjoying her vacation with Nerissa. Don't worry, Chimkins, she'll be back soon enough. She'll be back soon enough. But I think also she's taking a rest as well, so. But even after that, she'll be back soon enough. Where's Kiwawa? Where's Kiwawa? She'll come back. Yeah, she needs a rest anyway, so... She's gonna take a good rest. These days, I really also think about that, but at the same time, you know, I'm already kind of getting that. I know that, you know, me going back to the States, it's not really exactly for, like, vacation or anything. Um, but at the same time, it would be nice to take like a real vacation, but I kind of feel like, um, because I'm doing that, it's like I need to be doing even more to make up for the time that I'm gone, you see. I don't know. I just take everything kind of seriously. <laughs> yeah, and see, Kiara's still streaming even though she's quote-unquote on a vacation. Though I can't really yell at her for that because I've also done similar things in the past. Now that I understand. That I understand. Anyway, birds of a feather, am I right? Birds of a feather indeed. Yeah, but I know that she's, she's taking like a real, real break 
a for real no stream break when she gets back, so... Again, maybe that's another reason why she's doing some streams right now. I know that feeling. We can't forget the feathers either, yeah. Kiara, where are the hats? Where are your signature hats, Kiara? Where are your hats? See, you don't wear them often. Where are they? Where'd you put them? Someone else might want to wear those hats, Kiara. Where are those hats? She's a woman of many hats. <laughs> so they say. Many hats that she doesn't wear. It's pretty insensitive. There are a lot of people in this world that would love to wear hats. Kiara, how do you think they feel? Hmm? You're not wearing your hat. <laughs> it's two hats, Samantha. Dun 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 dun. Anyway, and I wish I had a hat that was just a rapper hat only for rappers and no one else, no one else. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, hats would be nice for deadbeats, especially deadbeats that are bald. Most skeletons are bald anyway, so just don't worry about it, but I think it would just be especially nice for those deadbeats, you know? All right. I think we're getting there. We're getting somewhere. Can't forget her feathers. We'll draw them over here too. Shaft year one. <laughs> we don't want to get too crazy with it. Have it be just enough. You know? Okay. Get the badge. Okay, here we go. I feel like I'm accident accidentally gonna draw her eyes like sliding off of her face. Keep her eyes on. Mm. 
Nice. Max of maximum smugness. <laughs> She's asking for trouble. Kiara, your chin got so much bigger because you became so smug. Gonna need a reduction for that. Gonna need a chin reduction. Anyway, looks smug to me. <laughs> it's just regular Kiara. If you say so, Deadbeat. If you say so. Say so if you say so. There's a ticket to the usual room right there. You know what comes next. Death. <laughs> could be, could be. Man, I don't even think I've been this smug before. Well, maybe once or twice, but you definitely didn't see it. Cobble and D? That was pretty smug. That was less, like, smug, though, and that was more, like, excitement to pull off one of those jokes. I was, like, overly excited about it, you know? So it was, like, failed smugness. I should have been smug with it. That would have been cool, like, maximum cool, you know? Like, Bibu is sticking out your gat, your gat for Nerizler. But I don't really know if Bibu is smug with- I wouldn't call her smug with that joke. I would say that she's... She's just so full of joy to spread it. She doesn't see what's wrong with it. It's kind of precious. You know? <laughs> yes, she does. Does she? she knows exactly what she's doing yeah she might but when I talk to her about it she seems to <laughs> she seems to go on like there's nothing wrong with it she invented it to punish pebbles specifically that is true but it's not the same She's not daft. I'm aware. It's some high level acting. Don't fall for it. I don't know. Does it work as a punishment? For the pebbles, I wonder? Mm. 
Does it really make them get their act together? Oh, it works. Oh, it works. It's about half and half. Hmm. I was gonna say, y'all must have done something really bad for her to show it on the Mario Kart Jumbotron. Oh man. Y'all must have really crossed Bibu there. Dun 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 dun. Do do do. Da da da. Do do da da. Mm hmm. It makes the older pebbles hate the younger generation even more. I mean, I can't, I can't fault them for that. It's hard to quote unquote get with the times. There are some things I just don't want to know. <laughs> things I can go the rest of my immortal existence without knowing. Yeah, no. That was definitely one of them, one of those things, but... But here we are, so I just accept it. Plus, she's so cute. I can't be mad at her, just like me with my cats. Teach Kobo and Bibu not to be meme lords. Your children deserve better. Uh, kids will be kids. Nothing I can do to stop that. Shut it down. All I can do is react in disgust. That's about it. I don't have any real power here. I'm sure that there are pebbles and Kobokers that enjoy it. Wouldn't want to take away from them. <laughs> you have no power here. I don't. Okay, face expression and then we're done. smug. Better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. You better watch out. That's what this Kiara says to me. <laughs> the 
That's Kiara clearly owning ten, 10 to 12 air fryers. Just Giwawa. I saw. I saw. No tongue in this one. I'm going for a very specific look. Maybe next time. Or add it in yourself. <laughs> okay. Four. Now we... Ah. Me. Di. There you go. Thanks for the request. Here's everything so far for this batch. We're still going. We're keeping it rolling. Save check. We're good. The next one that we have is for Jess. Jess Dom. Let's see. <laughs> oh my god. I pay an exposition. Thank you very much. Small Cali weird effing cat. The puppet's kissing meme, but it's Iris and Bay. <laughs> Let's see. Your YouTube profile pic, but replaced with a small Cali weird effing cat. Well, I can do that. That's nice and easy. Okay. What did the weird effing cat look like, though? Let me look it up, because I forget. Hold on. Let me see. Do my channel shorts. Where's my weird effing cat short? Found it. Stop playing sound. Stop playing sound. Okay, there we go. I got it. Da -da 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 -da. It looks like grandma, the fucking thing. <laughs> what a legendary, legendary time. This cat made history. Meow, 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 do, 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 da, da. So I'm guessing you want the weird cat to make like the same kind of expression as your YouTube profile picture. We can do that. Mm. Yeah. This, um, this exact model, I think, also was just quickly put together by Kanaru, I think. <laughs> what a mad lad. Such a good model. Pretty solid. And then body is kind of like a big cylinder. But the magic lies in the expression, of course. Can't forget about my gemstone. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, something like that. The eyes haunt me. <laughs> They're so good. Why are they this good? I think uh, head needs to be wider though. A little more like, yeah, there we go. That's the weird effing cat.
and then to make it match the icon here. <laughs> yeah. Mom, I'm scared. Don't run away, little Timmy. You have to face the consequences of your own actions. Come here. Come here. Ah! <laughs> okay. I think this should be good. Dun, 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 dun. Eldritch Horror. No more racing? Nope, Mario Kart Tournament is over for now. Yeah, but I still want to do an EN ID one. I know that a lot of folks are like, why not just invite JP anyway? But the way that I think about it is those guys work really hard and I don't want to steal their thunder. You know, if I invite JP, then it just becomes the same exact thing that we just did. You know, and plus, they have extremely strong players. I think it would be nice to see um, how everybody in EN and ID also square up, like when we're on our own, you know? So. I wouldn't mind inviting JP, but I feel like. Um, I kind of want to see how the international branches do on their own, you know? Yeah, we, we need to catch up anyway. <laughs> and who knows, it, it might even serve as a bit of like a motivator for EN and ID for the next big, uh, for the next big cup that, that JP decides to host for next year. So I think it would be a good idea. to try that. And I know that Bay also wants to be involved maybe like in casting, <laughs> shout casting as like an MC, so I think that could be fun. So I'm working on it right now. But I'm also thinking of other ways to make the tournament kind of different from the main. Like 200cc or something like that. I thought you said Yen though, she's JP, ha 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 ha. Bale's Heiko still speaks a lot of English. She's still Yen, you sillies. Mm. Fuamoko will be in danger at 200cc. Now you say that, but what if they just started racing perfectly at 200cc? You never know. It could be that the races are just too slow for them. They need something more powerful, more challenging, you know? You would eat your words. Yeah, you would, deadbeat. Yeah, you would. And you never know. It could happen. It could happen. So don't write them off just yet. Not yet. If that happens, consider me donating five red supers. You're on. You are on, Deadbeat. I'm gonna hold you to that. Mori doesn't forget. Mori doesn't forget. Let's see. Maybe it's like their secret strength. All right, I'm copy-pasting this ear. <laughs> 
I am copying it and pasting it. I'm a cheater. She's a cheater. Yeah, clip it for the archive, boys. We'll see about that. I don't know. I have a lot of faith in those dogs. Also, it looks like they'll be joining me for um, a certain special stream that's going to be happening around Valentine's Day. I've started gathering the guests. Yep, arranging them way ahead of time. Because I don't want any last minute anything, so... I've secured the dogs. Yeah, they're really hard workers, you know? They really put, like, everything into what they do. I really respect them a lot. Those two. And I want to say, like, calm down! <laughs> Take a break! But, number one, I can't talk. Number two, I kind of know what it's like to really want to make an impression and, and show the world how hard you can work, like, early on, you know? And, like, how much all this means to you. So... I feel like in the end, I more just want to cheer them on. But I'm sure that they'll be all right. They know their own limits. They know their limits. As long as they're getting good sleep. As long as they're getting good sleep. <laughs> do, as I, do as I say, not as I do. Rules for thee and not for me? Mm. Oh, I almost forgot my crown. Yabe. The crown is important. It's not a crown, Mori, it's a tiara. Jesus. Oh yeah, and there is two of them, I gotta say. That is really nice. But that doesn't... Ah, uh, though to be honest... Man, I wish that I could... I could, um... Look over at another Mori and be like, hey... Can you make the schedule? <laughs> that is one thing that I do kind of wish I could do. Wait, there's two? Believe it or not, Deadbeat, there is. And they're equally as wonderful. But I think, like I said before, it's different having a twin and having a, a second you. You know, because your twin is not always your second, a second you, per se. You know? That was a bit of a jump scare. No! Okay, sorry. Another jump scare. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. Yeah. Maybe let's have this one. No. I saw. But actually, this is darker than that, so that wouldn't make any sense. That's fine. We'll just keep it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jess. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Jess Dumb. Thank you very much for the commission. What a good choice. Don't worry, there will be a version that... Um... There'll be a version that comes without the sign on it, if you just want the image as well, but there, there'll there be a signed version too. There you go. Yeah. The beats eating good. Yay! Paying by exposure, okay. <laughs> We've got a big ups too. Caleb Asmadi, 
Mori hugging a deadbeat. If the hug squishes, that would be nice. Or Mori and Narissa singing as an alternate option. I can do a deadbeat hug. Have I done a deadbeat? I don't think I have. There was one where we were wearing headphones together and then fist bump. But no hug yet. Dun dun, nah. And there was me hugging Mume. Okay. Let me see. Just a moment. I've got to look up some kind of hugging pose, I think. Images. Hug pose. Yeah. What, which of these will be good, I wonder? Just as a reference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. A lot of good ideas. Nice. Okay, I think I found a good one. Yeah, very huggable dead beast. Sorry, I'm gonna be taller. Squish! Maybe it'll be more cartoony. Yeah, I'm taller. Maybe I wouldn't be taller than all of you, but in Mori's world, I am. There's the skeleton man. I'm assuming that your face wouldn't squish because you're bone. aren't what they used to be. <laughs> That's fine. I still appreciate them. Weesh. Yeah, maybe more on the cartoony side would be good. long but it got pretty short recently because of New Year's and for New Year's you guys know I just have shorter hair for New Year's when the New Year starts it's so that I can grow all new hair but it grows back quick so don't worry dun, 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 dun. can't forget the cape Deadbeat hoodie. Yeah. Yeah, the hair, my hair goes back quickly. Quicker than you would think. Shave sponsored? No, why would I need that? No, my head hair grows back fast. Don't get it twisted. 
Hmm. I feel like I want this to be arm here. Like, whoa, surprise hug. Dun, 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 dun. Maybe belt is down here. Yeah, spikes. Yeah. That beat hoodie goes here. Dun 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 My chest is just disappearing behind the hood. That's all. That deadbeat says, whoa, what the Mori doing? Why she give hug? That's a big hoodie, yeah. So that you can hide away in the darkness. Whenever it suits you. That's why I gave it to you. I'm sure that you guys love darkness just as much as me. I'm a big darkness fan. <laughs> deadbeat posing like a family photograph. Because it's a family photograph. Nah, it's not a family photograph. I don't know, ask the deadbeat, not me. I wouldn't know, ask him. Drawing eyes is hard. There we go. Yeah, this one's again more on the cartoony side, but I think it looks fine. Arm pretty big though. For something that's more on the cartoony side, so I'll make it smaller. There we go. That should be fine. And then he's got his hairband go like this. Okay. Now lines. Here we go, line work. Prank, prank. Can you imagine if I said prank every time that I drew a line? You guys would get really, really, really sick of the prank after a while. That's why I gotta space them out. The prank! Probably not. Okay, prank! 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 You would love every second. Really? I might get tired of it. That's probably what it is. It's me. Prank, prank, prank. 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 Sounds like it's a me problem. Now, prank. Prank. But then I can't talk prank. Prank properly. Prank. 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 You never hear Mori's voice again. Just prank. Prank. Prank! 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 <laughs> I'm tired of it. Who will be first to give up, chat or Callie? Callie! Prank! 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 And every time that I mess up the line, I have to redo the prank! 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 Where's the prank emote? Gonna need to make one of those next. Prank! 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 Oh, 
that's a that's a thin bony finger. You're losing your gosh darn mind. How do you think I feel, deadbeat? How do you think I feel? I'm done. No more. No more of that godforsaken noise. I've had enough. Dun, dun, da, dun, da. Nice hoodie. Looks cozy. I'm gonna get the same one. Or just borrow yours. Gimme. I can do that. I have power here. I do. I actually do. I'm the one drawing. <laughs> Probably big enough for both of us. In the hoodie? Yeah, I guess so. Probably would get too warm though and would need to leave. I like the cold. But I don't know. Maybe if we were like a, in a really icy tundra. Or something like that. Dun, 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 dun. Bigger. No! No! No. Draw it yourself. <laughs> Draw it yourself, deadbeat. I will then! Yeah, do it! I dare you! I double dog dare you! I triple dog dare you! Triple dog dare you! <laughs> we need to go further and beyond. I'll leave that up to you. Okay, maybe something like this, yeah. Yeah! And since I'm looking up, my crown would definitely kind of like curve upward. Because that's how perspective works. Yeah. And I have black fingernails. That's kind of a weird looking hit here. There we go, that seems... that makes more sense. I'm doing like a Gucci Gucci good thing. On your little skeleton skull. Like during the ASMR when I scratch... When I scratch your skull. You already lost your Inuyasha hoodie to a girl a while ago. I'm not losing anymore. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Darn it! Dang it! The first thing that you need to do when you break up with with someone is be like, Hey, can I get my Inuyashi? You eat my- Oh my god! <laughs> the first thing you need to do when you break up with someone is say, Hey, can I get my Inuyasha hoodie back, please? You need to. You gotta. You can't lose that. That's precious treasure. Bay and Iris would also agree. Anyway. Gotta get your stuff back from people. Yeah. 
Yep, especially when they leave your life forever. Because sometimes they're gonna try and take that stuff and never give it back to you. You can't, you can't let them get away with that. Okay. Nice. Squish. And big hug. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking after Bibu now with the yeah. She's just so full of joy when she says it. I want to inject some of that joy into my life, too, you know? Yeah! It's pretty infectious. There we go! Yep, it's the jewel at work. The jewel of emotion at work. She's doing her job. Exuding the positive vibes. Yay. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. This is what we got so far. Yeah, my arm is going under the hood. Hold on a sec. I need to separate it more clearly. Yeah, under the big hoodie. Like I'm- I have you in a chokehold, and I'm gonna kill ya. How cool would that be? Oh man, she's really thinking about it. Please, alright. I'll take your request into consideration. There you go. What a way to go. What have we got next? Thank you very much for the request, Caleb. Already dead, haha, <laughs> skull joke. Um, let's see, the next one... The next one that we've got is for RJR. <laughs> Can I draw myself as a popsicle? Like the ones with the gumball eyes, please and thanks. You mean like the, the weird Sonic and Spongebob ones from the beach? Character popsicle. Or is there a different one I'm thinking of? Like the really cursed? Yeah, the half melty ones. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, these are cursed. I love it. All right, deadbeat asking ye shall receive. Hmm. You haven't seen them? Just look up character popsicle. Then you'll understand. <laughs> the SpongeBob ones are so cursed. I bet it would look kind of similar to Small Cali Weird Cat, but I'm going to use the small as a baseline and then make it really extra cursed. <laughs> the googly eye ones, yeah. I feel like if they tried to make smalls like one to one with these kinds of pops popsicles, they actually might look okay, but I'm not I'm not satisfied with that. So I'm going to say they intentionally went out of their way to make sure that it looked as cursed as possible. Oh my god, they're horrific. Yeah, something like that. I don't know, would you buy this at the beach, Deadbeats? What flavor? Bubble gum. Or cotton candy. And maybe Watame Senpai would be the cotton candy one. Because <laughs> that's literally her name, but... Mine would be bubble gum.
Hold on, we'll make it- we'll make it kind of melty, but first we have to draw the- just what it would look like. I'm trying to think about, you know, product design and how they probably designed this product to be like one really easy shape. You know? Because it's all about the easy shapes. They want those easy shapes. What about sakura flavored? So basically salty cherry? Because that's what sakura tastes like, salty cherry. And this would just be a block of pink. No shading or anything, just a block of pink. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <sighs> and that's red. Cursed but delicious. Yeah, it tastes pretty good, not gonna lie. Which is very, very, very melty. Melty popsicle, Mori. <laughs> it's terrible. Would you bite into it? Yeah, I'd kill her. Because it would be hilarious. So this is the base shape of the popsicle. Yeah. Yeah, people get hype about sakura flavor, but it really kind of just tastes like salty cherry. The, um, the liquor collab that I did, though, has like a bit of sweetness in it, so it's really good. Make the head wider, yeah. You don't like eating cute foods like chocolate-shaped Santa. Oh yeah, or like a chocolate Easter bunny or something like that, right? Yeah, I get that. Feels wrong. Totally know how you feel on that one. But yeah, this is... I feel like they like to keep really, really basic shapes. As basic as possible without completely, like, making it unrecognizable unre as the property. Yeah. This is what I would look like at a beach. As a popsicle. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna copy-paste this side. Mm -hmm. dun, 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 dun. Yeah, something like that. Hard to get one to one, but that seems fine. Yeah. Dun, dun. That's cheating, yup. I'm a cheater. A filthy, rotten cheater. Dun, dun. Cool. Then there's a gem right there, but it's kind of abstract. And then for the body, they don't even bother with like the golden, the golden band at the top. Yeah, there we go. Looking good. Nice and easy. And the black parts are flavored black licorice. <laughs> Yeah, black licorice is yucky. I'm not a big fan of black licorice. On second thought, yeah, maybe don't buy it. I'm just trying to dissuade them. Please don't bite the Mori popsicle. Please. It's- it probably doesn't taste very good. Not a fan of good and plenties? Nope. Think they taste bad. At least to me, to me, to me. Everybody's got their own taste buds, though. Dee dee, do do da da. Kira Meki Rider, do do da da remix. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Mm. Nice. -a.
cool. Looking good. You are not a fan of black licorice? What? But most people are. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, this is great. <laughs> it's a popsicle on the beach for my favorite VTuber. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if some Gura ones exist out there. Some illegal Gura ones. <laughs> I could totally see that. Knockoffs. I'm gonna go make some now. They'll sell like hotcakes. You gotta credit me and give me some of the money. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't do that. I do not endorse that. Anyway, that's the Mori sickle. Now, I don't know about you, but I would choose this over SpongeBob, personally. What a neat request. Very off the wall, but I like the off the wall ones too. Yeah, you would too. See, that's what I'm telling you, Beach. What are you guys doing? Get the Mori Popsicle. It'll open up a whole brand new clientele. Okie dokie. Now this one was four RJR. 2992. Since I don't see a name, I'm just gonna write your name uh, as it appears on YouTube. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, we've been making some pretty good progress. We're almost halfway through the last ones that were available. Let's see, I'm gonna count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We've done 13, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 left. So, we're getting there. We're almost halfway through. For today. So, not bad. Hmm. Making good progress. Yeah. Hamster Mori. We didn't draw a hamster Mori, but we did draw a hamster. That's up here, right? Oh no, that was a different page. That was one of the first ones that we did. Here's what we got so far for this batch. Once we fill this page, I'll take a tiny break and just talk with you guys while I let my hand rest. Um, 16 left, let's go. Thank you very much, RJR. Well, let's see, next up, we've got something for Luke Mayer. I draw myself with, hold on a sec. I got this. Have some fun with it. What's these? <laughs> it's a gun. All right. Um, I found a, an image. It's uh, it's called an MK14 EBR. I'm surprised that we didn't get this this request from Danny the gunsmith, but that's okay. I'll. <laughs> I'll draw it just like this, and I, I see there's an image. Might be a copyright problem. All right, I'll, I'll alter it a little bit. I'll alter it, but I there's an image, there's a reference that I'm looking at that's really funny. I mean, it's kind of funny. I don't know, I'm just gonna copy it exactly. There's a guy with like a cowboy hat holding it. So I also now have that cowboy hat. Are we gonna get in trouble for this? Don't worry, I'll make sure we don't. I'll make sure we don't. Don't forget the shades. <laughs> you got it. I'll make sure we don't get in trouble. I don't think we would in the first place because no matter what gun I draw or how good I draw it, it's not gonna look good enough. Um. to be mistaken as the real thing. However, 
I'm still gonna try and I'll make it a little different and I'll put an orange cap on it. How about that? Hooray, bad drawing skills. Hooray for bad gun drawing skills. <laughs> when in doubt, it's the same gun, but it's like, you know, a water gun version. Don't worry. I'll make sure we don't get in trouble. Got your back, deadbeats, don't worry. Now let's see, how do we draw this thing? It looks like, yeah, a long... Wow, that's a really long and big gun! That's really big! Kinda looks like a bazooka, but it's not. Cool. I mean... That's what you want, Deadbeat, I got you. Mori never backs down from a challenge. Kind of looks like this. And then there's like a little guy up here. And then there's this really long... Like this. And then it's, the body starts like right here. And it, it gets kind of bigger like this. And then... This kind of looks like some pump action. Yeah. I don't know if it is or isn't, maybe not, but... Yes, no, maybe. It looks like you can move it, but maybe it's not. I don't know guns, because, you know, underworldian, typical underworldian reapers, we just use sides to kill people. No guns. Ame's job is to know guns, yeah. Anyway, there's a thing here that goes like this. And I can't forget the scope. The scope's really important, so you see good. There's like a circle thing here, and then the scope go like this, and then get big like this, and go straight like this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we can attach it maybe right here. There's a lot of little details on here. Then the handle, there's a handle right here. And then it's got one of these like really big rectangles coming out of the bottom. Got like a really big nozzle. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. Yeah, there are 
are a lot of little details on here I'm not going to be able to draw super well. But hopefully this is fine. I'm going to draw my traditional garb. Because I just think that might be best. You're getting TF2 vibes from me as the sniper. Hold on. The anatomy is incorrect. But the anatomy has been incorrect for like all of these. That, that's okay though. They're just doodles after all. Yeah, my traditional garb looks good here. Yeah! Cool. All right. I guess we can go. Ah! Sorry. We can go on to lines. That's a gun, all right. Am I wearing sunglasses? Yeah, I am. Because the Texan sunshine do be bright. Okay. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. It do be that Texas sunshine. It do be bright. Where does Red Dead Redemption 2 take place? It's not Texas, right? Isn't it like eastward? It is Texas. New Mexico, east, the west, a couple states. Oh, I see, it's fictional, not Texas. Oh, it's an alternate version of the USA. I didn't know that. Nice. Interesting. Oh, hey, what's up, Novel Beats? Novel Eats, Novel Beats? What's going on? I'm drawing myself holding an MK14 EBR, as per the request of the deadbeats. How are you guys? Yeah, it's not the most accurate, but... Shi Oring! Hope you guys are having a nice day. Nice. Oh yeah, Shiori was playing Sonic the Hedgehog. How'd she like it? Good old Sonic. You guys want to hear about the once or No, they do not. They've heard enough. They have heard enough. Sonic Frontiers. Hey, really? She went Super Saiyan. Does that mean that she had a good time? A good enough time to... to really scream at Sonic? Don't come that. First time with Sonic. Had trouble at first, but got used to it. That sounds about right for a Sonic game. Hmm. There's always a bit of a learning curve when learning to play any game, I feel. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> she literally went Super Saiyan and fought an Eva. <laughs> oh man, sounds like a ride. Well, parrying is always really difficult um, until you really get the hang of it. Heck, I know I have a lot of trouble parrying in games, especially like if you have to do it over and over and over again, like Sekiro or Lies of P. Yeah. 
I tend to have a lot of trouble there personally. It's actually pretty easy in Frontier, so yeah. I've never played it before, so I also would not really know. Alright, I'll try not to spend too, too much time on this one. Just getting the hands out of the way first, I guess. Says the Bloodborne fan. Yeah, but I'm still not great at parrying in Bloodborne. I'm, I'm better at it than other games like Sekiro, Liza P, etc. Oh man, this gun has so many details on it. Well, sorry if I don't get all of them right, but we also need to be legally careful, so maybe it'll work in our favor. Maybe the gun enthusiast can laugh at me. <laughs> Why is she drawing this here like this? Sorry. I have some friends from, from college that are really big, like, gun drawing nuts, and um, they're not going to be very happy with me <laughs> when they see this. I can tell friends who would draw, like, uh, comics that take place, like, out on the battlefield or war, etc. More guns, more fawns to draw? Dun, dun. Gun nuts? Yeah, gun nuts. Well, just for drawing them. I have friends who really like to draw guns a lot, to the point of, like, obsession over every tiny detail. Yeah. I haven't spoken them to, to them in a long time, but they were huge fans of guns. And if I even attempted to draw, like, a regular handgun, they'd be like, Mori, no, no, no! <laughs> and send, like, a proper reference, and I'm like, I am not reading all of this! Don't worry, there's an orange cap on the end. There's just a whole lot of details, and my brain has a hard time seeing all those little details, you know? Dun, dun, dun. Again, it's just a me thing. Yeah, like drawing cars is pretty hard. Speaking of cars, I was really sad that Shiori had apparently not seen Cars either. I wasn't really sad, I wasn't broken up about it, but I was like, dang it, missed opportunity, because I would have loved to, to discuss Cars with Shiori. <laughs> you know, about Lightning McQueen's legacy and his fall from grace. Yeah, it could have been pretty interesting, but... Ciao! Maybe someday. Just gotta watch it first. Ciao. Ah, yes. Car anatomy is also not easy. Don't remind me. But sometimes when you write comics, like, you gotta draw all kinds of stuff. Even if you're not a big fan of cars, maybe your characters are driving in cars. So what are you gonna do if you don't know how to drive cars? Or draw cars, rather. You gotta figure it out. That's what you gotta do. Anyway. Oh. I enjoyed this detour into firearms drawing. Thank you, Callie. Yeah, you're welcome. Sorry that it's not really correct, but... Guns, mechs, furries. These are things that I'm not exceedingly good at drawing, but... Man, I'm gonna try for you guys. I'm gonna try my best for you. You can probably just fill this in and then do white for the details. What did she or even do as a child? Um, put beads up her nose. Is uh, how I heard it. Weird that I never ended up visiting her back in the day. But Ahmed was pretty frequent for visits. 
Yeah, it felt like slapping her on the wrist every time that she went out of line. <laughs> Ame, you can't do this or I'll be back. Ame. Shiori's life is a tale of almost accidentally killing herself, so I got me then. Eh, must have been a different Reaper on duty those days. Hmm. Maybe it's for the better she wound up in the cell. So that she could stop accidentally doing those things. Ame, don't do that! You're gonna die, Ame! Proceeds to not kill her. What can I say? Soft spot for the detective, I guess. Oh yeah, there's one of these thingies up here. Kinda looks like a hood of some sort. just a lot going on here. No, this isn't really like a hood. This is more like just a black block. And it's kind of jagged. Especially at the top. It's like this. Yeah. cool though <laughs> I feel like my my coolness factor has increased somehow Impossible. Already max cool. I don't know about that one, Deadbeat. We do a lot of pawn things these days. I can't work too much longer on this one or else I'll never finish all of them, but... I'll make sure that it, that it looks good. I'll probably put more detail into the the gun and the rest of the image, because I feel like, you know, the gun is kind of like the star of the show. Not so much the sheriff, you know. All right, um... Let's see, there's like a circle here. A bunch of like cylinders and then kind of like this and then it's a scope is this what a reaper from the u.s looks like no we still use scythes <laughs> don't get it twisted we still use scythes but it's more like humans that like to use the guns i guess boy Scythes mounted on guns. Shh. They don't need to know. The people don't need to know that. Pretty cool, though. <laughs> Yeehaw! Yeehaw, indeed. Chuckle F words. And then there's a trigger, 
and it's right in between the main handle and this thing. It's like right here, because otherwise, how else do you fire the gun? Doesn't make any sense. There's like two of these, and then there's like a this thing. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> and just say that, um, drawing any more would, you know, we gotta refrain for legal purposes. Yeah, that's definitely it. Cool. Wait, hold on. I feel like my jacket would be on the inside and hair on the outside. Yeah. Okay. And then, just some minor details here. Wait, no, those will go on the other side. There we go. Made outfit when? I don't know if that's what somebody requested. Didn't we do something like that already? I don't know, maybe... Oh no, it was when I was collaborating with Ao Chang. Yeah. We drew maid outfits then, but I think I didn't draw myself in a maid outfit. <laughs> Just out town. Okay, this one is... For... Luke... Mayer. Thanks for the request. Here's the current batch. I feel like Kiara needs a little more hair over here. There we go. That looks better. That's what we got so far. Ah! Oh, stretch. One line makes all the difference. It do. Yeah. Can I crack my back? Maybe not. Just saw the ice cream. It's so good. I know, right? The Mori sickle. It would really look like that, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost Cat and Tutu supervising your doodling for Sam. That's a cute idea. The babies, they're watching. Is that a weird looking cat? It sure is. It sure is. The Armored Core pick is your personal favorite. Gotta represent. It's pretty good. A good idea, right? Have to agree with you, Deadbeat. Okay. Now for this one... I'm doodling. So there's me right here. I'm bent over and I'm working hard. Okay. Working hard. It's just a self-portrait me drawing right now. A uh, big eraser. Do 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 da da. Okay. With terrible posture to boot. And then here's my pen. So that you can tell that I'm drawing. Dun, dun, dun. 
neck piece. Yeah, this is just what I literally look like right now. So that's me right there, and then the cats are back here. Do do da da. She's like a little fox, like a little squirrel. Oh, thank you for the, the tutu icon drop because now I can look at what that looks like and see what she looks like. Cause some, it's not that I forget what she looks like. I forget how to draw her. There's a difference. Yeah, doo doo. Do 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 da 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 da. And Tutu stands bow legged. <laughs> That's why she can't be a magazine model cat, because she stands bow legged. She asserts her dominance with a bow legged stance. She's all stanced up like the final boss of a JRPG. And then she's got her little squirrel tail that's like going around her paws so that I don't have to draw her paws. But this is also just how she sits. It looks like a big paintbrush. Yeah, just like Doflamingo. <laughs> yeah, exact same stance. Tutu is a One Piece villain? Dada. Big kitty cat eyes. Those are her eyebrows, not her eyes. nose is pink actually I forgot about that it's pink nose she looks like she just drank some milk That's, that's one weird looking effing cat. <laughs> Gee. She's thinking about treats. Da da. Da 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 da. Head empty. There is nothing except for treats in this cat's head. Do do think about treats. <laughs> Mommy, I pooped. <laughs> no, do do. She's hungry. She's got the cutest little eyebrows, though. They're more like this. They're just. <laughs> They're just big dots. There they are. Little eyelashes. And then there's Ghost Cat. Dun, 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 dun. He's got like a long snout. But he's also a ghost.
<laughs> He's got one of those signature M's on his head that like a lot of cats have. A lot of cats have like a signature M on their head. <laughs> Nyanya. What's the cat though? M from Mori. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they're burning their their gaze into my soul. Let's switch the tapes. Boom, bum, 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 bum. Let's listen to what's the next full live chill out mix? The usual one. Yeah. Dun 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 do 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 do. Oh, that was sleepy. I'm gonna have to say goodnight. Well, have a nice evening. Thanks for dropping by. Okay. More coffee, more coffee. Mm. Quadruple espresso. Can't go wrong with quadruple espresso. Can't go wrong. <sighs> okay, let's get these lines going. I am a reaper of focus. Is my heart okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry. My body's very, very used to caffeine, so it's really not a big deal. Don't you worry, deadbeats. My caffeine intake is just fine. I, I'm pretty careful to monitor like the amount of grams of caffeine that I intake so that I can go to sleep, etc. I'm pretty careful about that. I'm also somebody who weirdly can still sleep even after drinking coffee. It's weird. Because I always used to like, oftentimes, um, if I'd go to like a restaurant somewhere for dinner, like for, for dessert after the dinner, they'd be like, hey, would you like a dessert? And would you like tea or coffee with it? And I'm like, what the heck? Who would drink coffee, right? But then I order it, and then I drink it, and then I go to bed that night, and it's not a big deal. Kind of weird. Anyway. Dun dun dun. Here's my cloak. It barely works on you anymore. Yeah, I guess some of us just get like desensitized to it, you know? Kinda crazy, but yeah. You can't function without coffee or tea in the morning. Yeah, then maybe you've developed a dependency. Maybe I've also developed a dependency, I don't know. I can't remember the last time that I took on a morning without like at least one cup of coffee, so if I didn't get some coffee, I might die. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't die, but it might be a tough morning. Battle. I look like I'm drawing something suspicious. <laughs> I mean, some of the, the requests have been questionable, that's for sure. Some of them have been questionable. Doki, now cats.
Energy drinks don't affect you, really. And I wonder why. We made the cats bigger. Because those things are really definitely loaded with like lots and lots of caffeine. To like a pretty insane degree, depending upon the energy drink. Like Bang, for example, oh boy. You remember the bang arc, don't you? Yeah. It was an interesting time in my life. I'm glad that I made it through, though. It's the sign of a true warrior, if you can live through the bang arc. The commercials are pretty good, though, I'm not gonna lie. That was some good marketing. Oh yeah, didn't I try and make like a bang cocktail? That was wild. I like didn't truly understand how much caffeine that thing had in it. You know, Papa Reaper really likes to drink um, vodka Red Bull, for example. But even that is like, yeah, bye, don't do it. And just because Papa Reaper does it doesn't mean that I should do it too. Anyway, I think mixing alcohol with energy drinks is a bad idea anyway. It's like, choose one, buddy. You want to wake up or you want to go nighty night? <laughs> they have those at Applebee's, Jesus. I'm not surprised. Is Papa Reaper 22? Oh no, far from it. He too is no years old. Which means ancient. You'll stick with a Jack and Coke. Yeah, that's not, that's not bad. That's not like an energy drink, you know? That's simply like using a, a soda mixer. That's not bad. I'm still at it, you know it. But once we get to about eight hours, every other, every sixth message is gonna be like, Mori, you're still streaming? You're still drawing? Yup. That I am. I got work to do. You know it. It always happens. Mori, it's been a week. You're still streaming? <laughs> doo doo da da! Look at that doo doo. She says, Mom, it's time to play. Mommy. She's in her really fluffy winter coat. Because it's winter, wouldn't you know? Can you believe that I've almost had Tutu and Ghost Cat for a year? Mommy, playtime. I bought them a new mouse the other day. It's a fake mouse, don't worry. Bay, don't worry, it's fine, it's a fake mouse. And it's interesting because Tutu, Tutu really loves like the, um, how do I say? The very sparkly and like crinkly toys. So she's really into sparkly, crinkly, um, like and shiny toys. And she doesn't care as much about like the, the fake mice, but Ghost Cat loves fake mice and doesn't care about the the, sh the shiny, crinkly ones. It's interesting how they have different preferences. You know? I didn't know that cats would have, like, different preferences for toys, but... Hmm. Yeah. Ghost Cat desires to hunt. Oh. He wants to hunt. Those eyes. She is a princess, after all. Princess Tutu. Princess, you're a little crown. <laughs> Princess Tutu. Um, but yeah, so she likes shiny, sparkly. And um, they also feel differently about human food, you know? So like, Ghost Cat hates human food because ghosts can't really eat food in the first place, right? So he hates human food. But Tutu will try to eat anything that she can get her paws on. 
no matter what it is, cat food, human food, plastic, which is why I have to be really careful and keep it away from her. Yeah. Keep you on the hunt. But yeah, um, I'll have like a snack and I'll just have it like out on my my living room table. And then Ghost Cat will come up to it, sniff it, and leave. Which is another reason why if I'm cooking, um, if I'm cooking, I put both of them away. But um, if I'm just like eating food in the living room, um, I let Ghost Cat roam free because I know he won't try and eat anything. Tutu, on the other hand, will, so I have to put her away. She's like, Mommy, it's not fair. Well, too bad. Then don't try to eat my human food. Anyway. Her tail looks like a floofy paintbrush. Yeah. It's so beautiful. And there's Ghosty. These are my cats. <laughs> She's just hungry. Mommy. Playtime. <laughs> They're supervising. I'll go play with them afterward. Don't worry. And this one's for Sam H. Okay. Yay. Did it. Why the name Tutu? Like a ballerina outfit? I don't know. I just like it. It's cute. And I read this story about a cat named Tutu, and I thought it was cute. Mm. Oh, that's cute. She didn't actively try to steal any food, but she would eat almost anything you offered her. That's kind of sweet. What a grateful kitty cat. Mm. Yeah, no, Dudu tries to steal everything. She's got to calm down. Yeah, two syllable pet names are the best. Tutu, ghost cat. They're fun to say. <laughs> I'm thinking about like one one name, one syllable cat names, like Bob or something like that. <laughs> this is Bob. This is cat. John, here's my cat, John. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> this is Steve. <laughs> my cat, Frank. Anyone seen Jeff? It's just kind of silly. I don't know, it doesn't hit the same. Aw, Jake, that's cute. That's cute. One of my family members um, has a cat named Cat Moss. After I think, I think there's like an actress named Kate Moss or something, but they call the cat Cat Moss. Cute. Cat Moss. Hey, Cat Moss. That's two syllables, technically. It's also two words. <laughs> hmm. Alrighty, let's see. The next one that we've got here. Interesting. Mori Calliope showing a deadbeat a map. This is kind of an interesting, very like deep and personal one. Aw, how sweet. Okay, I can, sh I can show you the way. Leave it to Mori. Mori will show you the way. Um, also because Deadbeat, I don't know if you realize this, but I'm terrible at directions. So let's go together. <laughs> hey Deadbeat, do you know how to read this? I'm Zoro. <laughs> Mori knows the way. I will show you the way. Maybe the map isn't that big. It's probably not that big. Kokoro no chizu. Daijogo busa mai ni susumo wo. Do do da da do do da da mune ni. Ah, chotto matte. Actually. It would maybe be like four corners folded map. 
Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. And it's upside down. Sorry, Deadbeat. Sorry, this map is upside down. Deadbeat, I know the directions. <laughs> Deadbeat, I pulled out this map and now I know where we're going. This Deadbeat's hands are in this Deadbeat's pocket. Because Mori has a hard time drawing hands. I can, I can if I put my back into it, but we got a lot of these to draw. Deadbeat, I forgot I can't read. Can you show me? Can you read it for me, Deadbeat? Where are we going? I can't write. This isn't Disneyland, Deadbeat. Yeah. Deadbeat, where do we wind up? I need your help. The Deadbeat ends up showing me the way. third time that we've passed this house. Maps are an old person thing. <laughs> the dead beat in question is older than any of you. <laughs> we've got an old beat. have some old beats though I know that we do let's see um, there this way I am a little directionally challenged but I'll do my best Wow, look. See, there are a bunch of old beats here. I say old, but is it really that old? Maybe it is. Maybe it's a little old. Or hold on, how does one hold a map? How does one hold a map? If I'm holding a map... We still ended up having to draw hands. Dang it, Mori. That's fine. What if I just looked up a reference? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. This, okay. They're really just normal fingers. Mori, don't overthink it. No need to overthink it. Nice. I think I got the basic. The basics down.
Yeah. And it's a double-sided map. Maybe. Maps have maps can be double-sided, right? Yeah. Map. Kokoro no chizu. Daijoobusa. Yeah, just as like a little extra detail. And there's like a railroad and some rivers, some roads, branching roads. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think I got the basics here. There's a, there's a facial expression here. <laughs> I'll go into more detail on the lines. I feel like I'll spend a gazillion years if I keep working on the composition. And this map is blank. No, no, no. Can you imagine? I'm like, look, Deadbeat, look. And there's nothing on it. That's messed up. That's a busted map. No. I would not get us a busted map, okay? have the word map upside down. That is silly. Okay. I can draw the lines now. Hold on, stretch. I feel like I have to expend my, expend, extend my spine like several times to really get fully stretched out. Map so old that Atlantis is on it. Yeah. An ancient map. I feel like the light has been on in my studio like consistently for the past several days because I've just been <laughs> doing too much work that there was no reason to turn it off because every time I sit down to work and it's on I'm like oh maybe I should turn it off and let the natural light illuminate the room but I just know that I'm gonna be working until it gets dark so I, su I should just keep it on that's busy, yeah. I mean, I always am, but it's like, especially right now. You know? Yeah. More so now than ever. Which is crazy to say, but it's true. It's got a little harmony in there. That's a skull. I thought it was a man's beard for a second. No, 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 no. Look, you can see the eye sockets and... Yeah, that's a Skirlington. Doo-doo-da-da. Da. 
or lack of lower jaw. I don't know, deadbeats just don't have lower jaws. They just don't. We've known this for a while, but science cannot explain necessarily why they are different from other skeletons. Jaw fell off, yeah. That dead beast's jaw dropped when he saw how terrible Mori was at playing. What game? Dang it, what game am I really bad? There are a couple I'm really bad at. When they saw Mori's ability to aim in first person, that dead beast's jaw dropped. Like, whoa, no way. Can someone be this bad at Apex? That's all the deadbeats jaws drop. GeoGuessr? No, I was good at GeoGuessr. What are you talking about? Suica game? I'm sorry, who holds the EN record? Excuse you, deadbeat. Excuse you. Worked hard for that record. Boy. Not Mario Kart, that's for sure. <laughs> we got a little better. We got a little better. What was the record? I think I got up to like 3,000... Was it 400 something? I forget. It's been a while since we played Suica game. But yeah, we really did get a lot better at Mario Kart. We're gonna take Tsuyo Cup next year, you guys. I promise. I also want to try and be a little more aggressive. Yeah. Now that I know I can do it. You know. Well, thank you for being proud of my progress. I'm pretty happy with it too, to be honest. I am pretty happy with it too. But we can still improve. We still have some work to do and that's okay. I'm ready for it. I'm not gonna let myself get rusty though. So we'll probably get to practice a little more in the future. Which is also another reason why I feel like, um, an ID EN tournament might be nice. Because then none of us get rusty. Keeps us on our toes in training throughout the year. Maybe we do it on July 4th and call it the Freedom Cup. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. Maybe like a Halloween cup or something, I don't know. Got a job for you, got a job for you, three, two, one. <laughs> for the few Americans in the group. I think Halloween might be cooler. Or maybe just having one in summer would be good. The beach cup. Yeah. Racing in that hot weather. <laughs> the barbecue cup. <laughs> oh, deadbeats. You guys are funny, funny little bone men. Look at these funny little bone guys. Dun, dun, dun. 
The bank. <laughs> no. Hey, but if they were a sponsor, though, <laughs> I'm just saying we might consider. Anyone want a sponsor? <laughs> You are their sponsor, Mari. <laughs> Am I now? I need my eyes to be a little higher. And then we can erase the bangs. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> You don't want to sponsor us? That dude, we need sponsors. No, nah, we don't. We don't need sponsors. <laughs> Jokes. We got it. That expression is charming. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Let's go on a journey, Deadbeat. Yay. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and sign it. To adventure. Kelly O. Bay. Drawing with a mouse is god. No, I'm not drawing with a mouse. I'm using my tablet. Yep, I have a tablet. Okay, let's see. What do we have here? This one is for Von Cobra. Hope that you enjoy. Thank you for the nice request. Very lovely. Let me erase some of the background lines. There we go! Nice. Now, next up... You never could get comfortable drawing on tablets. It takes some time to get used to. There's definitely a learning curve. But thank you very much, Von Cobra, for the lovely request. I hope that you enjoy it. And thank you for the touching message as well. Now we've got... A request for Laminator 32. Let's go. <laughs> Requesting Mori Cali in a sweater, fixing the viewer's necktie from the viewer's POV signed to me. Ooh, I wonder how that perspective. Okay, well, I'll see if I can do it. If I put my back into it. That's a nice idea. Let me see, where the necktie at? Is this the necktie? Probably looks like I'm about to strangle you. Let's see. Is there really a difference? It's gonna look like I'm strangling you, deadbeat. Let's see, hold on a sec. Hmm, fix. Neck. Tie. Hmm. It's a bit of a unique request because I feel like there's no there's no really like really good reference, but I can I'll make it work. Deadbeat. Sorry if it looks like I'm strangling you though. That's what it might end up looking like. So here's your necktie, and then this is me strangling your necktie. So it's got like a little stripe on it even better okay great well, i'll try to make it look as normal as possible but there's a chance that it will not for that i am very sorry here let's see 
Yeah, there's the thumb. And I'm wearing a sweater. I have a reference, but I can't send images in chat. Oh. Is there something I can look up in particular? I wonder. Do you know how to tie a tie IRL? I do not. Hmm, there must be some way to like put the link in chat, but not put it. Yeah, Twitter, maybe. Yeah, and and tag it with hashtag Kalaya Live or hashtag Kali Lust. Yeah, you gotta hashtag it. Because my notifs are off because I get 50 gajillion trillion notifications all the time, so I have them off. So I really only only I only check the tags. <laughs> Download no yeah, hashtag Kalaya Live. The one that Archon X just typed. Yeah. Click here. Download. And then you look in the corner. You look in the corner and it says add. 50 million notifications all from Bibu. Very excited to tell me something. Congratulations, you won! A cruise! Let's see... I'm gonna look it up in a sec. Let me know when you have posted it. And I'll go take a look. Where do I put my credit card info? Just type your credit card info and then do hashtag Kalaya Live. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not. I'm not responsible for any of that. I'm not responsible for what happens if you do that. Make sure you have those three funny numbers on the back too. Yup. And those four silly digits on the front. Callie needs your help, but she needs your credit card info to do it. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. When you were in elementary school, you took the congratulations you've won ad seriously and raised your hand to tell the teacher. Oh, deadbeat. Oh, deadbeat. Dun, 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 dun. This underworldian princess needs your help. Well, for now, I guess I'll just I'll just go with what I have here. Dun, 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 dun. Strangling is. I don't mind strangling. Cheeky little strangle. Nothing says Merry Christmas like a little necktie strangling from your boy. And in a sweater. Okay, you tweeted it. I looked up latest and I can't find it. Let's see. What is your Twitter account? I think it'll be easier if I just look that up. I see it. Did you spell it wrong? Nope. Same as YouTube. Yeah, it'll be easier if I just look that up. Yep, I sorted by latest. Mm 
Hmm. Hold on. Lemonator. Thirty-two. There we go. Reference pick. Oh. No, go back. Oh, Naruhodo. That looks a lot different than strangling, but. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. I feel like that is definitely easier to do. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Thank you. Do 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 da da. I'm gonna do like a this thing with my fingers. My fingers. I'm really bad at drawing hands. Sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I couldn't be more handy. Haha. <laughs> it's not funny, Mori. I'll stop. Thumb here. Just look at it. Draw what you see, Mori. Draw what you see. It can't be that hard if you're just drawing what you see. Always had trouble drawing what I see. Okay. I love this this cheeky doggy god street trap remix. It's pretty good. a hand I guess yeah and then there's deadbeat body right here yeah now Mori in a sweater I can do that probably similar perspective eh like that Yeah, but my sweater is probably like a little, a little bulkier. And then I got the turtleneck and chain. Turtleneck and chain. Yeah. Looks like a belt. No, it doesn't! It's a tie. And this deadbeat's wearing a tuxedo. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, deadbeat? Out of here with that. Just regular tight sweater. My neck is probably really long, like a giraffe. So I'll go ahead and, yeah, there we go. I'm a giraffe. I'm a giraffe. It's a chain. Turtleneck and chain. Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's just perspective. Whoever came up with the original version of this is very smart and did a very good job with the perspective. They knew what they were doing, that's for sure. Good evening, Mori. Cool stream. Welcome. Just tying some neckties for deadbeats. And apparently not strangling them, but that's okay. Maybe in an, maybe another time. Maybe next time we do a strangling. Maybe just a nice smile. Maybe it's a rope. <laughs> Debbie, be careful with this rope, okay? No accidents, please. No terrible accidents. I don't want you to go outside and you're just walking around and suddenly ouchies. Gets caught up on some construction. Deadbeat. Death hands you a necktie. What do you do? Oi, 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 deadbeat, don't get any funny ideas. I already told you you have to wait in line. If you skip the line, then that's no good. Our meeting will never occur. You're not allowed to skip the line, dummy. I already told you that, sir, yes, sir. How many times do I have to tell you that? That's no good. All right, this is taking quite a bit of time, so let's get these lines drawn. Oi, 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 deadbeats, no funny business. Not a belt. I said PG-13 at the highest. That's the highest. Deadbeat's Deadbeat Tuxedo. Nice suit, Deadbeat. Where are we going? What's the special occasion? They're going out for uh, the release of GTA 6. All right, Deadbeat, we'll be careful out there. I know it's a special occasion. Base side suit up for that, yeah. Thought that would only be normal. Dress up for buying your favorite game, yeah, of course. I certainly would dress up to go get the Elden Ring DLC if it wasn't a download only thing. Yep, you know it, Deadbeat. Deadbeat, you already know what time it is. Dress up to get some ice cream. I don't know, whatever whatever makes sense to you, Deadbeat. bulky sweater especially at the sleeves it's just because it's big and comfortable except I guess around the waist area my chest looks smaller over here can't let that happen because it's lopsided 
Got a little lopsided. I'm gonna copy paste this because runtime is not long. There we go. Seems good. I'm a little cheater. How do you stream five hours of drawing art? That's a strong mentality you have. Well, back in the day when I went to art school, um, sometimes we'd have deadlines where things were due, like extremely strict deadlines. Um, and a lot of us like would just draw nonstop with no sleep because that's how it is in the industry, um, depending on who you work for, I guess. But a lot of times it's just, that's how it goes, nonstop drawing. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I'm saying that, um, that I got used to it, I guess. Drawing for long periods of time. Yeah. Wish it wasn't so tough. You know? But when you go to school for that kind of stuff, they really try and condition you for it. So you end up with a lot of drawing stamina, I guess. But now I just draw for fun, so I guess I kind of kept that, uh, that drawing stamina, but, um, but I'm not a professional artist anymore. <laughs> now I mostly do like music stuff. Yeah. Now drawing's just a fun hobby for me. But back in the day, I thought maybe like I'd become a storyboarder or something because I like drawing comics a lot, but like I never felt that my art was like good enough for the stories that I wanted to tell. So I always thought maybe I'll just be like a writer or something like that and then do like storyboarding and then hire one of my friends to draw comics for me or something like that. And then I'd write the script, but none of that really ended up happening um, after I joined Polo. Yeah. I'm an official artist channel. Oh, you mean like on YouTube? Yeah, that's that's something that happens for people that end up releasing quite a few original songs. Well, well, you'd be a good storyboarder. You'd still be good enough to do your own art. Thanks. I guess I just have like really kind of high standards for how I want certain things to look and I feel like I can never reach them. Here we go again. It's the exact same thing that we've been through before with Mori. But now for drawing. There is no cure. It's just how she is. Dang it. Here we go again! Have coffee dance. See, it just looks better when you copy-paste it. Why my smile be so lopsided? Yeah, I kind of like this one better. It's more quaint. There we go. Nice. And then the stripes are kind of already on there. Is that the legendary sweater from Twitter? No. No, that's a different sweater. This is just a regular tight sweater. Silly. Cool. 
Let's see. This one's for Laminator 32. There you go. It is the legendary sweater. It's the regular sweater from Twitter. There are a couple sweaters from Twitter, all right? Hang on. I'm giving it stripes. For the necktie. And it's not a rope! It's a necktie! I know that it's got stripes, but neckties have stripes too. Okay? Yeah, I think it looks better with the sketch underneath a suggestion. At least it's not a belt. It is not a belt. Okay, sillies? Gosh, why not both? All right, that's it. Uh, thank you very much, Lemonator, for the request. Now, next up, we've got uh, Typhon, KFP, Legal Eagle, Tutu and Ghost Cat meet Chonkers and Smoothie, or Bibu finds Kali Scythe. This can only end well. Oh, gosh. Tutu and Ghost Cat meet Chonkers and Smoothie. That would be cute. Bibu finds Kali Scythe. I know which one to choose. Hmm. Cats. Maybe cats. Let's do cats. Chonker smoothie. I have to look up Chonker smoothie reference. Reference, but I think that I have one actually because I was watching a. Giwawa. Giwawa. Past stream. Chotomate. You just scroll. I'll find it. Oh, yeah, I sent it to someone as a reference for something. Hold on. So I can actually very quickly pull it back. Yeah. For reference, here's this. And I timestamped it. Kiwawa super chat reading from two years ago. <laughs> from two years ago. With Kiara Pet in the cats. All right, time to draw cats. Tutu will be like the very like adventurous one that's kind of like sniffing and like wants to wants to meet them. Hang on, doo doo da da. Tutu's face. Is this like a side view picture or front view? Let's do front view. Yeah. How's Kiwawa? She's on vacation. She's on vacation right now. Hang on a sec. Might need to look up some cat references. Let's see. Okay. Okay, let's see some kitty cat. Some kitty cat art. Wow, there are lots of great cat poses. Nya nya! Hello kitties! Oh, I love cats. Yeah, she's in the Maldives. Mm. That's kind of cute. That's a cute cat pose. It won't let me zoom in on it. Hmm. Okay. Nya nya. <laughs> There's a really cute one of a cat sitting down. <laughs> like a human. <laughs> a cat sitting like a human being. I think I have an idea. So you might have to see Tutu's butt. You might have to see Tutu's butt. No, it's not lewd, it's a cat, Jesus! A chonker smoothie. Mm 
brought raised. Like a Who are you, stranger? Stranger? Kind of thing. We've got the tail raised. And then I'll, I'll go ahead and fill in the cat details. I mean, cats, they can act like humans sometimes. Only sometimes, so not all the time, because they just don't have the brain for it, you know? There's another cute cat looking over here. Or rather, looking over. These are Kiara's cats. Kiara cats. Okay, maybe we don't get Tutu's butt. I know, what a shame. I want big Tutu smile. Tutu smile. <laughs> no, Tutu's butt, it's not fair. No fair. Tutu, big smile. Tutu, big smile. Because Tutu loves new friends. to draw humans <laughs> that's okay I want to try we have to learn how to draw cats nya nya ooh cats what's my favorite tutu noise um when I'm when I'm eating dinner and I have to put her in the cage <laughs> and she goes Meow. it's like it's not even like a Meow. it's like a like she's firing off a gun in her mouth. <laughs> it's cute. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Ghost cat smell. Ghost Cat is very afraid of other cats. It took him a while to get used to Tutu, actually. But now they're friends, so it's fine. Duda. Duda da da. That's a weird looking freaking cat. That's better. Better. Yeah. There's my doo doo da da. Yeah, look at how fluffy she is. Put her little paintbrush tail here. Like a demon dog. Bow 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 bow. Okay, so I think I'm pretty sure this is smoothie.
They're both a little chonky though, just a little bit, at least in this reference image. This is the teal one. Look at that. Wow, kitty. Look at kitty, baby. So fluffy. Head a little bit lower. Not that low. Just a little bit. Nya, nya, nya. <laughs> Cat. Hi, Rene. Is Chonker Smoothie? I think you got to meet them recently, probably. Chonkers and Smoothie. Yeah, Giwawa's cats. Cat. It's cat. This one seems to have like a feather. They're so baby. I know, right? And so sweet. Gosh. It's a bunch of babies. The baby cats. Ah. You like cats too, right, Rene? Rene is also a cat aficionado, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Baby, just like Callie? What are you talking about? Boy. Oh, they have kind of similar to the, the dogs. Kind of like, yeah. Cute. And then Chonkers back here. Chonkers has like fire right here. But also kind of like fluffy ears. And like some tufts of fur like this. And is really chonky. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the name. Hence the name indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And Dudu. Dudu says, Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Dudu. I'm Dudu Dada. You guys want to look for treats together? Hey, thank you, Biv, for the huge membership drop. It was very kind of you. Thank you. Ghost cat gives sniff. <laughs> Who are you? Cute. Look at that bomb of gifts. Thank you so much. Now let's see. My cats will be this color and then I'll outline those guys in their respective colors. Wow. That is a lot of memberships. Thank you. And even more gifted memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sam. I'll be sure to thank you guys at the end of the stream. We'll definitely thank properly. Hi, I'm Dudu. I like treats from Mori. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> you guys want to look for Mori's treats? I know where she keeps them. They're in the cabinet. I know where she keeps them. If we all, if we all get on top of each other's backs, 
We can get them. What do you guys say? That's totally what Tutu is saying. She's got her own little smug expression going on here. Verdada. Tutu's the planner. <laughs> You guys like treats? <laughs> Dudu, no! Dudu! Oh, ho, 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 Dudu, da, da. <laughs> the little mastermind. Da, 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 da. She's got a little eyelash, though. Da, 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 da. It's the white it goes down like this. Yeah, there we go. And then there's Ghosty, who's like, can we trust them? What if they tell Mori? <laughs> he doesn't trust him yet. Cute little buddy. Kiara didn't raise no snitches. <laughs> okay. We'll trust you for now. <laughs> Look at those babies. So fluffy. Kind of like feathers. Very beautiful. Ghost Cat is sniffing them as we speak. As opposed to not cute cats? Uh, no such thing. That's not a real concept. I don't care what anyone says. That's not a real concept. I love all kitty cats. <laughs> you haven't seen my cat. Oh no. Well, as long as as long as you love them. As long as you love them. But I feel like everybody thinks, most everybody thinks their cat is the cutest cat in the world, and rightfully so, because they're correct, it's just that I'm also correct. And that my cat is the cutest cat in the world, but I mean yours is too, it's just that mine definitely is. Simple as that. <laughs> the pushed up face cats? Oh, you mean like ones with smushed faces? Like, um, like rag dolls and like Persians and stuff like that? <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not my cat of choice, but still cute, I think. Like they got their face smashed in with a pan. Okie dokie. Well, the crows are going crazy outside today. What's going on, crows? Oh, I forgot to outline them in their appropriate colors. Well, I can fix it later. Smoothie does not trust. Tutu's like, it's okay, they all eventually trust. <laughs> ha! 
How is the weather? Uh, not my favorite weather, but it is what it is. My favorite weather is, um, if it's gonna be, if it's gonna be cold, then I'd like it to snow. But you know, brisk is fine. My favorite is brisk with sunny. So like it's brisk, but it's still sunny outside. That's what I like. Yeah. Alrighty, I think this one's good to go. Thank you very much for the request. This one was for... Tython. Give it a little sign. Thank you very much for the claps. Okie dokie. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Now, let's see. For Tython. Python, KFP, Legal Eagle. Okay, it's done. Let's see. Oh wow, okay. We got this batch done. Nice, 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 nice. Just woke up and you're still going. Yup, never stopped. Let's see. So that's this batch is done. Here's everything we got done in this one. Ah, small break. Small break. Small break. Small break. I saw a crack. Hopefully we can speed through these next ones. Massage my back. I saw. I'm not sleepy. Hmm. Just taking a little break. for the gifted memberships. Yatta! I'm much appreciated, Debbie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <sighs> More espresso? Maybe. That might be the answer. But hey, we're making good time. I would say. We're making good time. Safe chat! Dun 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 Okay, now we've got to fill in these. Let's see how many we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So just about enough. What's four times three? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, just about enough to fill this up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, da. So let's see what we got next on the list. Jorge Leon. I would love a doodle of you and Aki drinking beer together, doing some kind of cheers. Second option of first is no go, could be ghost cat playing with a fur ball floating in the air. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. And it can just be for Jorge. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure, why not? I haven't drawn Aki yet. Okay. We're gonna have to be cheers in though. Let's see. I think I have an idea for a pose in my head already, but let me go ahead and grab at a little reference. Sounds like a great idea. There we go. Okay. Gotta cheers. <laughs> yeah, I can make that work. Yeah.
Maybe I'll have us do like both the same pose. Just for extra sake of ease. Yeah. Holding large beer thing. Not the mega beers though. <laughs> Those are kind of crazy. A little too crazy for Mori as a matter of fact. Even Mori can't handle those, but I bet Senpai can. Okay. Clear coffee. It's not wide enough. It's gonna have to make it smaller. Gonna have to make it smaller. Yeah. Let's go. Yep, seems fine to me. Now to merge them, do like this. Nice <laughs> Wholesome. Wholesome, yeah. That's definitely the vibe. So who is who? I think this is Senpai. Yeah, there's Senpai. These are more like, yeah. Except maybe a little higher up. It's not that complicated of a design. I've always loved that the twin tails like just come out of the air. So awesome. I wish mine would do that. Wow, science is really amazing. Okay, and then something like, it's not really a blazer, it's like a shawl. Some kind of shawl. Cover first. Let's see. I feel like if I look at the official reference instead of just the main 3D pose. There we go. Yeah. That's much easier to understand. strange tie. I mean, cool, but what a strange tie. Wonder why it's in so many pieces. Science! Jesse Pinkman. And then these are gloves. Cool. Oh, whoops. Okay. Wow, very short. Oh my god, that's crazy. Sorry, I'm looking at the official artwork, and the official artwork, that really is quite the shortest skirt I've ever seen in my life. 
ever, I think. Because if you look really close at the legs, they got pretty detailed there, didn't they? Wow. Maybe a little, yeah, just a little bit. Teeny tiny little bit. Well, let's see. Okay. Oisha. Then there's me. Hold on a sec. Uh, da, 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 da. Any shorter than Kiara? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Looking at it now, yeah. I would say so. Crazy, I know. Hard to believe, but it's true. Yeah, something like that. Just the composition. And then the rest I'm gonna draw just freehand. Yeah, it's just the basic sketch. I think. Ah, my big toe has been in pain, deadbeats. It's in a lot of pain. I got a bad pedicure. I told her to stop pulling out the nail on the inside. I said, stop. She said, if I don't pull it all the way out, then it's gonna hurt a lot later, and she did it anyway, and it still hurts anyway. Yeah. Hang nail. <laughs> he die! <sighs> yeah, it's like when there's like a tinier nail, like on the inside, it's hard to explain. Yeah, it's, it's a hang nail. It friggin' hurts. Might wanna stub it? Yeah, that might make the pain go away. It's worth the pain to pull it out. Yeah, but she did pull it out and it still hurts. <laughs> she pulled it out and it's still extremely painful, so mission failed successfully, I guess. <sighs> it's I. Because it happened anyway, I guess. Maybe she couldn't have saved it. I don't know. But anyway, it, it just hurts a lot. Hopefully it stops, but it's been constantly bothering me the past couple days. So, not great. All right, I'm gonna take off my cape for this one. This is Capeless Mori. Dun da dun da. Do do da da do do da da. Do do da da da. Do 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 da da do 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 da da. Take care. Yeah, I don't want toe surgery. That would suck. I would really, really hate that. But if it gets bad enough, I don't know. Some people feel like they have to do that. Do 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 da da. Do do da da. Do do da da da. Sorry, any time that I can't remember the exact lyrics, doo doo da da is a great, great substitute. Doo doo da da. Doo 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 doo. -doo. <laughs> There's doo doo. There's doo doo in the chat. Doo doo da da. Doo doo da da. Doo doo da da. Doo 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 da da. Yeah, get down, doo doo. Alrighty. This one also might be a little less detailed than normal, but gotta make sure that we get them done. You know? Okay. 
Yeah, I forgot about the next thing. Okay. Go to sleep, you're tired. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. But for taking the new requests, I think I might need to open them and then close them and set a date to work on them at a different time instead. Depending on how my back is feeling, because the back feeling feeling some pain. Definitely feeling some bad feelings. So I don't think I think I can definitely finish this. But when I open them again today, we're gonna need to set a date to finish them later. You could open them and close them on a day. That is true. However, I already told um, people today that they would be open today at this time. So that uh, people who live, for example, in the EU and stuff like that maybe wanted to commission them at this time. So that's what I'm gonna do. And hey, maybe then I can take a couple more than I thought I could. Initially. But then that'll be it. And then members will probably get a chance to get more in the future. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hit us with the guac. I can't do it any justice. That's not mine, that's cronies. I can give you a gah, though. Gah! There's going to be one for members? Yeah. This will happen again, like drawing requests will happen in the future for members, I think. I don't know how often, but every once in a while I think I can do it for them. Yeah, should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, and then uh, for non-members, we can do like the Deadbeat Sonas, I think will be an easy one to do together. For the non-members. Um, but yeah. So there'll be, there'll be more chances in the future. But... Will the next one for members go to the music video? Indeed. I mean, all of it is... The only reason I'm doing it in the first place is because of the music video. So I mean, that's... That's what it's for. You know? That's what it's all for in the first place. So. Yeah, all of it. All of it will be going towards that. I mean, I know we have to worry about, like, YouTube percentages and stuff like that, but it is what it is. Yeah. It's a bit of a complicated situation in that regard, but I don't really mind it so much. Are you getting to have direct input? Well, yeah, they asked me exactly what I wanted and I told them. But there's always the question of like, uh, how will it go? Will it go exactly how I want it to? I don't know. I told them that they could take some liberties in some places, but... Anyway, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. I feel good about it, though. And this time, since, you know, I'm the primary person that's, you know, paying for it and stuff like that, um, it's not a situation where, like, you know, a producer could, like, you know, shadow make requests that I don't agree with, etc. So... Because that would be all kinds of messed up. So that won't happen, thankfully. Yeah. Anyway, can't really go into any more details. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, though. It's definitely going to be interesting. Dun, 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 dun. 
We're driving so fast that it should not be allowed. That's how we like it. You heard what I said. Hmm. Yeah, it would be messed up if I didn't get to have some control. <laughs> Considering that, you know, I'm the one paying for it. I mean, I'm still getting some help, but it's mostly me. And even then, it's crazy expensive, so... But. but other times, I'm also kind of like, I kind of want to give creative liberty and agency because being creative and coming up with ideas it's not easy um it takes time and mental energy and you know i'm kind of spending a lot of that these days working you know so sometimes i kind of want to hand the reins to someone else these days because i feel like burnt out you know but anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely a fun thing, but when, when your life and your career becomes the thing that you love doing, you just do it so much that I think it's really easy to get burnt out on stuff, you know? And to have issues creatively. It's a very normal thing. It happens all the time with people that get to do their passions all the time. In their life. You get to do so much of it that suddenly you're kind of like, Oh man, now what? And your brain starts to hurt. And it's tough. But because you really love it, you'll get through it. You know? Well, let's see, what's the shape of this like? Oh, it's kind of like this. Yeah. Kind of like this. Endurance drawing stream. Kind of, yeah. Kind of, sort of. Just taking deadbeat commissions. But they're getting rougher and rougher, I feel. Some of the lines are getting less finished. together. Yeah, there are definitely some members of Holo that are much stronger than I am when it comes to alcohol. Especially because I've stopped drinking it as much. So my tolerance has gone up, I think. Still enough to make crony sweat, though, I guess. But she told me later that she really did have a good time, so... I'm glad to hear that. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah, no, the tolerance went up. Alcohol tolerance means that you can withstand the effects of the alcohol better. Oh wait, so, wait, no, hold on. It went down, sorry, down. Words are hard when I've been drawing all day. But anyway. That's what I meant. The tolerance went down. <laughs> that's what I meant. You were right, Deadbeat, you're right. You have it right.
Wink. Yeah. You guys remember the card opening stream? Yeah. It was definitely a little tipsy then. Maybe more than a little tipsy. It was worth it though. It was a fun time. Yeah, cheers. Have a drink, clink. Well, anyway. Here's my sign. A little slosh, just a wee bit. Okay. Thank you for the request, Jorge Leon. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Here's a request here. <laughs> Hold on a sec. This one's kind of this one's kind of blowing my my brain apart right now. There's just a lot of words here for the options. Hold on a sec. <laughs> These are pretty funny. Let's see, Fuamoko is Takamori. I wonder how that would work. Then if it's too complicated, you can draw Fuawa as Kali or Mokoko as Wawa. I think I want to make this into like um, an outfit swap thing kind of deal. Like maybe, maybe Fuawa is wearing my outfit. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. Uh, let's see what kind of pose. Let me think what kind of pose. Maybe that's what they meant? Yeah. Maybe holding scythe. Hold scythe. Scythe stick. Sorry, my brain has devolved into caveman. And then saying hello. Yeah. I feel like my brain is on dial-up connection. I need to drink the espresso. Not a Chihuahua, I'm Fuamori. Well, the chest size is pretty much the same, so that's good. No stretching out of my outfit. Or my outfit also won't be too stretched out for her either, so that's good. Ba 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 ba. Wow, I would actually love this kind of hairstyle, to be honest.
Gah, gah. Let me go look up that reference picture. Come on, computer. Let me look up the reference picture. Okay. I'm pulling it up. Got it. Yeah, kind of like we're in the shuffle me medley or something like that. I think it would be pretty cool if um, Fuamoko got to do like the shuffle medley with like um, me and Kiara's fire and ice or something. Or some kind of duet song. Isn't there like an, an Okakoro duet song? That would also be good and probably might make more sense than being animals. Or Q, yeah, Q would be cool. And me and Gura's outfits, yeah. Oh my lord, it is- my Discord is getting blown up. Jesus! Sorry, it's important that I check these. Because could get in trouble. One sec. Make sure not to at everyone, because that's rude. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Ugh, there's so much stuff I have to do after the stream now to answer to. Yama! I just want to be left alone. I just want to be left alone. <laughs> but it's all, I mean... Not all of it. There are a lot of things that are under my own supervision that I have to do, and that's fine. But for the things that aren't, I'm like, oh, please, just please let me stream, please. <laughs> just let me stream. Uh, I want to focus on streaming. Yeah, no, it, it's, not a, it's not an exaggeration when... It's said that we have a lot of stuff we have to do outside of streaming because, yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Like, a lot of stuff. Some more so for others. Um, some people are even more busy with stuff outside of stream stuff. It's really, really difficult to manage everything, so... Yeah... Sometimes I feel like it would be in my best interest to stop streaming so much. But, I don't know, I like doing it a lot, so I kind of feel like, I don't know. Stuff like what? Well, for example, you know, voice recordings and stuff in regards to special events. Check this audio, check this, do this, record this, etc. It's just a lot of stuff. You know, but a lot of times we take it upon ourselves. So I can't really complain too much, but... It's a thing. It's just a lot of things. A lot of things. <sighs> this is probably a scythe. Okay, I think I can go ahead and just start doing the lines. 
not worry too much about getting too detailed or anything like that. Well, let's see, maybe just, yeah, very simple bangs. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Kinda hard to see the ears. They're definitely there though. Four sets of ears for extra powerful doggy hearing. Dogs need good hearing to be efficient hunters. Hunt down the enemy. Until it gets hidden by the coat. All the sneeze. Phew! Yum! Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the blessings and also Taskaru. Taskaru. gonna close discord I don't want to look at them enough <laughs> out of sight out of mind <laughs> Kawaii. Cute. Cute, cute. Of them could be telling you about that one funny trick to avoid distractions. <laughs> Great. <laughs> that's definitely that's definitely what they're messaging me right now. Dang it. For sure. Yep, that's it. I'm not gonna get distracted. Bow, bow. Right bow at ya. Here we go. Let's 
stick is almost done. Go fetch. Go fetch, dogs. Go fetch the stick. One, two, three, four. That's four. No six fingers. No six fingers. Saved. <laughs> Hate when that happens. Imagine seeing this drawing. Mori, did you really draw that? Or is that an AI drawing? No, I'm just terrible at drawing hands. Deadbeats, please. Forgive me. This is six finger anomaly. You guys heard my voice in the beginning of the, the stream. Beep boop bop bop. Robot voice. Be careful out there. I always have some trouble drawing the belt the perspective of it. But these are kind of fun to draw. My little rib cage thing. Yeah. Okay, we can go ahead and make this part filled in. Yeah. And then maybe yeah like a slightly torn cape i mean it is slightly torn my cape uh oh Rink. yeah battle damage from bouts of extreme violence. Really? Seems pretty nice. I got a call from Callie saying she needed to send me a bunch of her gift cards. Did you give them your credit card number and the four wacky digits on the back, on the front, and the three crazy numbers on the back? Don't do that. Cause the, I, I hate to break it to you, Debbie, that wasn't me. That mother effort is not real. Not real. Wow, what a terrible hand. That's much better. Bubba. That mother F word is not real. Okay, we're almost done with this. We're almost done. Dun, dun, dun. 
dun, 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 dun. We're very close. But we gotta give her some eyes, because right now she's blind. Right now, very blind. Mate. Should make the wrist go up more. There we go. Yeah, much better. Excuse my rudeness, could you please bow? Would you please bow? Excuse my rudeness. Please bow. Shitsure shimasu ga bow. Bow 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 bow. Chotto matte, chotto matte. Bow 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 bow. got a scythe okay uh let's see and then i think there was like a band-aid here and then some clippies over here yeah all right seems fine to me this one's for lonnie okay kelly ope morrison okay there you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Just glad you- Oh, hold on. I almost forgot about the spikes. Sorry about that. Very, very important for Underworldian garb. There you go. Okay. Next up. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Julius Tops, what the fuck is this? Calvin making out with Chrono. Back up. Calvin and Chrono doing a firm handshake with evil smirks. But they also have lemur ears and a tail. And snow leopard ears tail respectively. For Julius Toffs. Oh my Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Yucky. <laughs> yeah! I'm gonna go with the handshake one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the handshake one here. What the hell? Ah, uh, boys will be boys, I guess. Boys will be boys, I guess. All right, I forget what Chrono even looks like, so let me, I'm just gonna improvise. I'm going to improvise. Yeah, boys will be boys. He has blue hair. <laughs> yeah. I know that. And I know that when... I know that... Chrono also sounds like nothing like Crony, interestingly enough, which always kind of blew me away. Handshake nod transaction done, baby. 
What are they handshaking about? What evil plans could they be concocting? A firm handshake, firmly grasp it. Yeah, like crony, but male. At least it's not the green guy. Yeah, green guy is not allowed to even get close to Kobo. Probably taller than Calvin. I'll outline him in blue. And I will fulfill your furry request. I'm no coward. He's got his hands in his pocket. I'm Japanese. What is she drawing? Yowie. Yeah, this is probably fine. I think it's just like a typical um, suit, blue suit maybe. Yeah, blue suit. That should be good. It was like, yeah. Regular blue suit. Kind of dapper, really. Wide shoulders. Yeah. Something like that. But smaller head. Don't worry, they still have human ears, but not for long. I mean, you can have both. It's been proven, scientifically. You can have both. side. Look, I'm here to fulfill requests of some of the people. Who's the dominant one of the dynamic? Great question. No idea. Because <laughs> I'm not the expert. <laughs> Probably Chrono, though. Calvin's a little bit of a baby, it seems. He wouldn't like me saying that, but it's the truth. You can't run from the truth forever. I think Chrono is just very generic Ikemen pretty boy. With blue hair, he's blue. He's a blue guy, and he's got like a necktie. Like a host. Yeah, it was the host club. I remember that. Seven hours WTF. You've seen nothing yet, Deadbeat. You haven't seen anything yet. All right, now let's see. Lemur for... I think lemurs have... Hold on. Harley. I'll look it up. I'll look it up. Let's see, hold on. Ring-tailed lemur. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, look at those little guys. Look at those little guys and the fur poking out. Zabumafu. Gonna lose another 5,000 subscribers. That's fine, weed out the week, who cares? Oh, wait, I think it's just, yeah, it's just Ringtail. Me, you, Zabumafu. And then Snow Leopards. What do Snow Leopards look like? Hold on. Snow Leopard. Aw, oh, they're kind of cute. I guess that would be a pretty good animal for Chrono. 
What do their tails look like? Leopard tail. Don't worry, the tails won't touch. I'll make sure. I just don't want to violate any of YouTube's guidelines, you feel me? Just being real careful about that. Can I get Chrono's number? Ask- you gotta ask Crony or Chrono. I am not an authority on that. Alright, let's line it. Crony and Chrono related? I'm sure they are, I just don't know how. I'm not really aware of the lore. Yeah. The lore for... I mean... It's kind of diff- it seems like it's different for everybody. But Calvin, on the other hand, is my twin brother from a different universe where I have a twin brother. That's what he says, but can you even believe the guy? Who would believe the guy? Believing that guy is your first mistake. Sure does no look like he <laughs> it looks like he knows how to he likes to <sighs> I'm fucking up my words. It looks like he likes to move it, move it though. That's what I meant to say. Haha. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, Calvin? I don't think he liked that. I think he hated that. He especially hates the the lemur furry arc, so this is perfect for him. There you go. Yeah, I figured it out eventually. He's really stunting on him. Hands really feeling it today. That's okay. We'll get it done. I wonder how long I ought to make the break in between these drawing sessions. So that my hand can come back in full health. You know? Aisha. Imagine that you die and Seaman is the one that comes to ferry your soul away. Yeah, thankfully you guys don't live in that universe, so that's the good news. You don't really have to worry about that. I mean, unless you get whisked away to another universe, in which case I'm very sorry and you're in trouble. But you should be safe here. It's the worst universe, yeah. But you guys should be safe here. flashy. Nice suit, Chrono. Maybe they'll interact someday, who could say? I wonder what games they would play or what they'd do. Oh, I'm joking about that. There we go. Yeah, take a ride on the River of Seaman. The River Seaman.
Yeah, it means you're going straight to hell, deadbeat. That's what that means. It means you're going to hell. So be good, okay? got the shorter hair. Aren't there demon girls in hell? There are, but whether you can actually chill with them or not, I don't know. I think that you probably aren't allowed to. They're just there to be a temptation. You know? It's kind of sad if you think about it. You can always look at them, but you can never actually interact with them. is good enough. See, you say that now. You say that now, but once you've been there for an eternity, things start to get a little different, you see. <laughs> I've played Helltaker. I'm ready. Still wish we could play that game. I wonder if we can. I bet we can. What kind of evil plans are they making? I don't even want to know. I don't think I want to know. I'm sure you can. Van Ripper is a fan of you. I did see that the creator of, of Helltaker drew me. I thought that that was a request thing, though. But still, made me very happy. I was like, oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, but I think that somebody requested it. He did it for fun? Really? Dang. It was a long while ago. I have to go look that up. It was a, it was a request, but he knew who you were. Oh, nice. Well, thanks to whoever requested that. Buckins a day. Yeah, maybe I'll play it this year. I think that would be a fun one. No one in Holo has played that, have they? Because if they have already, then I'd be able to just pick it up right away. But I don't think any of us have. It's short and fun. And don't think so. Hmm... What are these two pranksters plotting? Okay, I'll see if I can ask. Should just be an easy ask. Yeah, I think it was quite a few years ago, though. Okay. For Julius... Tops. Thanks for the request. Chrono and the Seaman. Uh, let's see what we got next. <laughs> Bro looks so innocent before the smile was drawn. Now they look evil. It's because they are evil. Evil, evil dudes. Alrighty. Let's see what we got next. The next one is for Vino. Name Ryan. <laughs> Grim Reaper with the crown. Ooh, nice. What kind of Grim Reaper? Like, I'm the, like, me the Grim Reaper or, like, you the Grim Reaper? Because I see that your, your icon looks like a traditional Grim Reaper that hasn't been turned into a human. I'm thinking Death Sensei-esque. Because I feel like you would say, like, Mori with a crown. Mm. I can make this work. Oh, 
old generation reaper. Yeah. Death Sensei. Death Sensei-esque looking Grim Reaper. I'm just gonna reference the type of Grim Reaper that you have in your... in your profile. After being promoted to full-time Grim Reaper could be pretty interesting. That would definitely be an interesting one. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. We're just grimming it up today. I'm so used to drawing skeletons without jaws, bottom jaws, so it's kind of crazy. Hold on, one, two, three, four, five. He's got a middle tooth! He's got a middle tooth like Tom Cruise! Oh no! Yeah, just channel Brooke. Dang it. What on earth? Skeletor incoming? Maybe. Maybe, Deadbeats, maybe. You never notice Tom Cruise's teeth, but yeah, he does. I know, isn't it crazy? I had no idea either, and then I just saw one day, I was like, whoa, middle tooth, middle tooth. I think the internet might have pointed it out to me though, but I'm not totally sure. Pretty cool Grim Reaper here. It's a very traditional style Grim Reaper. We still have a couple that are like this. Not everyone, but there are still quite a few. Just real traditional Grim Reapers, you know? Yeah. They do exist. It's just Brooke doing cosplay. <laughs> is a traditional Grim Reaper. Like I said, we do got a few. They aren't super common anymore as they were in the olden days. Cute. I feel like this could be a cute icon. If you like got it finished up and colored in. Maybe. I don't know. Brooke shaved his afro for the cosplay. Yeah. Ah, the good old days. Muerte. Memento Mori. Remember, you're gonna die. You better watch out. Better watch out. 
deadbeat, you better watch out. Sorry, I keep thinking about it. It lives rent-free in my head. Ever since the holidays this year, good old Crimbo, M Mori Crimbo. It's lived rent-free in my brain. Well, I guess he kind of does have a regular separated teeth. Two teeth in the middle. No middle tooth. Not anymore, at least. Kind of fixed it up a little bit. What a dapper looking skeleton. He's so happy with himself with that crown. But can the skeleton play the violin? Yeah, with your corpse, but that's about it. That's how Grim Reapers work. Kind of morbid, I know. Yeah, wait, what? You surprised, Deadbeat? You have an army of two million plus deadbeats. Time to revolt against Death Sensei. <laughs> yeah? Deadbeat, I have a question for you. How many people have died in the eternity of this planet? A lot. Death Sensei has all of them on his side. Billions. One kazillion trillion billion. With all due respect, I just, I worry about your safety. <laughs> I worry about your safety, deadbeat. We're not making it out of the underworld with that one. We're not. At least four. Maybe four people have died so far. Yeah, in the last second. <laughs> wow. King Reaper. The Reaper of Kings. Specifically goes out on the job to reap people who are of nobility. Of noble blood. He's the King Reaper. <laughs> I get it, because he reaps kings. Not because he's the king of the Grim Reapers, but because he reaps kings and nobility. Does he go after short kings? Not quite. He takes his job a little too literally. Meanwhile, I'm sure other Reapers would totally be down to like stretch the rules a little bit. Cause they're all a little crazy about killing people. Anyway. This one's for Brian. Yay. Yatta. I think he looks cool. Thank you very much. This one's for Brian. Yeah. Thank you very much, Brian. Let's see. Well, this one's kind of fun. Good day. This is Michael C. Can I get a happy deadbeat head slash skull, but with a frilly made headpiece instead of the usual red headband? I would also like your name to be written just below the skull. You got it. As soon as I stretch my hand, I'll go ahead and get to work. That should be doable. And then after that, we only have six more. Yeah. Looks majestic. Nice request. Made headpiece, eh? Let me look that up.
made headband. Wow, cute. I like it. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. I can roll with this. What if someone requests a deadbeat with a lower jaw? Refund. Full refund, deadbeat. <laughs> Just kidding. I draw it. But only because you were so kind to ask me to. And that's it. Going all in on the maid thing. Let's go. Okay. One happy skeleton with a maid headband coming up. We'll make sure that the, that the deadbeat is smiling too. Very, very happy deadbeat. How does one indicate a, a skeleton smile though? Maybe something like, it's all in the eyes. Yeah. Like that. And then instead of the typical deadbeat headband garb, Time for Mori to draw some frills. I can draw those, kind of. Yeah, Maidol. Maidol. From the back. Also frilly. And we'll give it like a bow as well, because some of these have like ribbons on them. Yeah. Some little ribbons. Yeah, that. One happy skull. I'll make sure that they're nice and detailed. Let's see. Let me make sure I spell it right. Man. Nice. Yeah, it's cute. It's like nice and simple and to the point. It's a beat in a bonnet. <laughs> it's so cute when you when you say it that way. Okay. Yes, yes. I'm still not gonna draw a lower jaw. I refuse. Dead beats. They don't have lower jaws. They just don't. I mean, I guess if you really, if, if dead beats really, really want them, right? Then maybe, but in my mind, you guys don't have jaws. I mean, every skeleton seems to have a lower jaw these days. Like, come on. How do we talk then? Type in chat. Like you're talking right now, deadbeat. Don't be silly. Dun, 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 uh. mm Yeah. You listen to Mori's song once and your jaw drops. <laughs> True, I guess. It do be dropping. Yeah. 
happy to be. So let's move this to the side just a little bit. Make this one a bit longer. There we go. Just like that. Is the reason because you don't want to hear us talking? Chigal, yo, now you're making stuff up. You're making up ghosts. You're coming up with ghosts, Deadbeat. It's not true. Because you guys type in chat. That's how, that's how you communicate with Mori. Who needs a lower jaw when you can type in chat? Being silly. Yeah. Oh, sure, sure. Do the voice do your voices exist in my inner monologue? I don't really know what that means, but yeah, maybe. I don't know. When I hear deadbeat voices in my head, I don't really hear voices. I see your text on the screen. Yeah. It would be interesting lore, I suppose. <laughs> Mori took away your jaws so you couldn't speak anymore. Chads are supposed to have jaws, though, so I guess that kind of contradicts the Chad lore, huh? Because they usually have really, really strong jaws. having some trouble with the perspective. I think probably the head will come through at this point. Perspective can definitely be hard sometimes though. has all these extra things to think about, like which way the fabric would flow, etc. Put a little shadow here. Okay, let me rub the hand. Ooh. We're getting there. gonna need to give the hand some rest sometime soon. Mm. We have been drawing all day after all. That's okay. I'll put the the name on the sign layer so you can change it if you want or like move it around. I know you can't change your name but what I mean is if you don't like where it's placed or something or if you want to, like type it yourself or a different font or something anyway just given the option always good to give the option give options okay yeah <sighs> drawing with my feet oh man can't even imagine <laughs> trying to do that. It would indeed be a rare piece of Mori art though, that's for sure.
Okay. Okay. It's done. Degida. Degida means I did it. Thankies, you're welcome. Hope that you enjoy it. Hmm. The next one is Cozy Cali. For Pat, that's the next request. Maybe, maybe me, like, in um, a Snuggie. <laughs> no Snuggie, I'm gonna draw small Cali in a blanket. Wrapped in a blanket, drinking a warm beverage. Yeah, wrapped up like a little burrito. Hard to tell what's wrong. I mean like a Snuggie. But it kind of goes off into the ground like this. Because it, it actually is just normal blanket. But I guess I'm, I'm holding it together like this. So maybe I've got like doo doo da da and ghost cat beside me. Yeah, some Mori burrito. Dudu says, Mommy, what are you doing? Can I go in there? <laughs> no, Dudu is dangerous. Mommy, I want to go in there. No, Dudu Dada. Tutu's eye in my toes, she's thinking about nibbling them. No, Dudu, you can't. No nibble. That's yucky. I'm very cozy. Morito sounds more like a cocktail. Yeah, you're right, actually. Moritos. Moritos. I'm very cozy, though. Look at how cozy I am. Very cozy. Maybe I should be in, like, a sweater or something. And maybe my hair is actually up. Cause that is the coziest, the coziest look for sure. And I'm wearing a sweater or something. Yeah. <laughs> a really weird cocktail, yeah, exactly. I haven't really seen Small Mori with a with a ponytail. <laughs> Tutu looks demented. But, like, I like it. There's Ghosty. I do look really comfy, though. And maybe it's snowing outside. Just to add to the vibe. You thought the eyebrows were eyes at first? <laughs> and then you look a little lower, and then you see the truth. Knowing where you are, well then it's extra cozy. At least if you're someplace warm. Lammy dandruff outside, that's gross. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's yucky. 
That is a yucky thing he said. <laughs> Definitely the coziest I've ever been. Maybe underneath the uh, the blanket there's a controller and I'm playing Stardew on my TV. Yeah, it's definitely what I'm doing. Something more like this. That's a big old blanket. Bibu under there. They caught me. Shh, don't tell Advent. No, you can't have her back. Not yet. I'm not done. I'm not done watching movies with her yet. Away. <laughs> back. Nerissa and Shiori trying to, <laughs> trying to break her free from my grasp. No, I'm not done with her yet. Not done watching Space Jam. We are not done watching Space Jam yet. Which version? The first, the original, obviously. It would never be anything else. say that I look sufficiently cozy. Aww, I hope my little guy is okay. They're probably fine. They're just waiting for mommy to finish work so that we can play games. I'll be there soon. a very doofy tutu. A tutu worthy to make friends with the weird cat. <laughs> mm. Tutu is a gal of many faces, yeah. They all depend on her mood. But she always has that same paintbrush tail. And dot eyebrows. She kind of looks tiger-like sometimes. And then the snout that looks like she just drank milk. Dun, dun. 
Yeah, a little Pikachu-esque. <laughs> I can definitely see that. Pokemon with Tutu B? Poison. <laughs> Either that or normal, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That's for Pat. Thank you very much for the commission. Poison normal, yeah. So she's stinky, yeah. You don't want to be around her when she uses toxic gas. Very yucky. Squishy type. <laughs> fairy. Poison fairy. <laughs> Wouldn't that be an interesting one? Thank you very much, Pat, for the commission. Let's see. Wow, cool. Dear Moe, can you please doodle yourself with a deadbeat selfie style? Peace sign, maybe? Whatever seems natural. Thank you very much. Cool, that's a pretty good idea. Let's see, selfie pose. Should be no problem. Yeah. Just wanted to say you're on a roll lately. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. You enjoy every stream, especially the Red Dead one. Keep playing it, I need more of the sheriff in my life. You got it. Yeah, we're playing it tomorrow, I think, yeah. Yep, we'll go back to playing Red Dead tomorrow, so come check it out. Here's Callie Arm. I'm definitely doing a lot. Whatever seems normal. Uh oh, extreme violence incoming. True. True. I mean, that is the most natural for me. But I'll try to keep it human natural. Keep it light, keep it positive. I'm gonna do casual style outfit. And then maybe we can change the tape on the music one more time. It's our time, baby. It's our time. Peace. Peace. And then we'll have the deadbeat there too. Because it is a selfie with a deadbeat. feeling ponytail me today. All right, Deadbeat, say cheese for the camera. Beat you gotta pose too. Yeah, there you go, that works. Looking good. Yeah, I kinda like that. Say fuzzy pickles. Ah, oh, what a classic. I miss the Earthbound days. Those were definitely fun. Sometimes I think to myself, like, 
I really wish we could go back in time and play Earthbound again. But that's alright. Undertale will be... Will be fun. And then I asked... I asked in the in Discord, like, hey, can we play fan games like Undertale Yellow and got no response, so I'm just gonna put in the request anyway. I'm gonna put it in anyway. Just on my own. You have been live for eight hours now? I have. And we'll still probably be live for another hour. Let's go deadbeat pose. You old bag of bones. Nice. Looking cool. Middle finger is longer than pointer finger. Always remember. Important advice for draw. <laughs> Hoping for some Deltarune playthrough too? Yeah, we'll play Deltarune as well. I want to play everything that's out so far. It was definitely one that I wanted to play this year. No matter what. Especially because I have some really wonderful memories of being a big fan of that game. Detective Martini. Chief Martini to you. It's Chief Martini to you. But yeah, I ended up looking up the answer to that game. Like, how to beat it. And like, how would anyone even be able to figure that out? I don't think the system is advanced enough yet to do anything besides, like, fool around a little bit, but... There was apparently a real answer for how to solve the mystery. Nerissa beat Vaudeville. <laughs> Did she? You sure she didn't look up the answer? Are you sure? Ah, uh, she had help from the chat. <laughs> yeah, see, I don't really- I don't really know what other way you could beat it. Especially after finding out the answer, it's just like, huh? I mean, I could see- I can see how it would be like a really interesting mystery to solve if the system was just a little smarter. Just a little bit. Super early access. Yeah, I definitely got that vibe too. out there for a second. I'm back, though. My brain is back in my body. Vaudeville doesn't help at all getting clues from the NPCs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not great. Not the greatest. There's another, um, AI character game that I wanted to play, though, that's much better. I forget what it's called, but it's like a cyberpunk-esque one. And I wanted to try that one just for, just for some giggles. And we got the permission for it, so. Yeah, it's a robot one. 
I forget what it's called. Yeah. I don't think it's facade. It was like other world's origin. I forget what it was called. The Shadows of Doubt seems cool though. I did see that one. But facade is a really old game though. Yeah, I'll figure out the name of it later. Small blushies. I feel like I've gotten better at making these a little more rough today, so that's good. They're definitely a bit rougher. But I'm, I'm still trying to keep them good. You know, they're rough, but still, you know, good. I hope. Anyway, yay. Thank you very much for the request. This one was for uh, for foreground character. Since you didn't have another name, I'm just gonna write your full username. Hope that's okay. Okie dokie. Or. Foreground. Character. Nice. Let's see what we've done so far. This is for this batch. And only a few more. I think only like four more-ish. Hold on. One, two, three, four. There's four left. Um. This is also what we did. We did this as well today. And then we did this too. Oh, the, not all of these, but about half of these are from today. So we're getting there. That's a lot of drawings. <laughs> A lot of draw rings. After four, will I reopen supers? Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reopen them again, and then everybody that sends in a request, um, I will I will queue those up for next time. It'll be good to know how many I have um I have to do for next time. And if there's just like two too many, um then I ask that you guys um like send in red supers knowing that they might uh, still be recorded but drawn off stream. And I'll post the video up um, with the drawings too. So you can still watch it be drawn. Yeah. Yep. And also if you've already sent, if you've already gotten your request drawn, I would prefer please uh, to not to not ask for another one, just so that people who haven't gotten a chance can get a chance. That would make me very happy if we could do it that way. Because, yeah, some people haven't gotten a chance to ask for one, and I want them to have a chance. Um, alrighty. Let's see. Oh, cool! Can I get Fauna with a sapling? That's cute. Let me grab my... my Fauna reference. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, Fauna with Sapling. Cute. Wow. Fauna is another person with a pretty intricate and detailed look, but pretty. Beautiful. Ooh. Ooh.
trying to remember what saplings look like. I think I kind of remember them from Holocure. They kind of, they just look like saplings. <laughs> the saps. <laughs> Ooh, they're just blobs, like sprouts with leaves coming out of their heads. I believe. I know. I know what I'm gonna draw. Rather, I know how I'm gonna draw it. Hold on a sec. It's definitely very detailed, but I can draw it. There are definitely a lot of deets. Head big. Oh, make small. I'm really regressing to caveman now. Cave Mori. Bunga. Yeah. Oh my lord. Ah. Let's see. I'm gonna draw her in her casual outfit. Yeah. 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 Wise. Yeah, just gonna save myself some headache. Because her, her official outfit's very nice. But I'm going to, it's gonna really hurt my head trying to draw it. Also, there's like a braid too. Oh man. But this is nice. She does have a really nice casual outfit. It reminds me kind of um, Jiraike. So like, it seems more wholesome, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Joker. I still want to know what it was my boss was going to tell me. You know, from that one story, right? When my boss tells me you know, I was wearing, I wore a choker to work one time, and my boss... <laughs> Do you guys remember? I don't know if you guys remember that story. Um, I wore a choker to work one day, and my boss says to me, he says, You know, Mori, 
I've got a saying about girls who wear chokers, and I'm like, yeah, what is it? And he says, I'll tell you when I'm off the clock. And I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? What? He never told me, though. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? What did he mean by that? Anyway, I guess some things are just not meant to be known. Ever. And I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. If he didn't tell me, it was probably for a good reason. <laughs> but that day still lives in my mind. What the fuck? It's a mystery. <laughs> he told you and the memory is blacked. <laughs> you blacked out the memory. <laughs> that bad, huh? Man, maybe for the better. Guess I'll never know. We'll never know. The world may never know. Cute Joker, though. It also kind of reminds me of of Ame's outfit, too. Ame has kind of like a similar dress, I think. Maybe I want something like that too. Maybe someday. I'll go for something girly. I can have those kinds of sensibilities too, sometimes. Sapling on the shoulder. They kind of look like the, what is it, the Junimos from Stardew. Yeah. There's also kind of a window here. Yeah, we can't forget the little flowers, too. I want flowers in my hair someday. Yeah. I think, doesn't Suisei have something kind of like that, too? Who else has flowers in their hair? I might be making, I might be making shit up, but I don't know. Don't I have them in my kimono? It's like, they're different. They're not like the, the headband kind of thing. It's different, it's different. It's like these like tiny flowers just chilling in your hair. Oh, maybe it was Lammy. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. some ribbons, kind of. Yeah. yeah this, these lines are kind of too thick. It's fine.
just nice. <laughs> you thought saplings were fatter and rounder? It looks pretty fat and round to me. Looks pretty fat and round. I don't want them to be too heavy for Fauna's shoulder. Need a carrot nose. Yeah, that sapling's been working out. I don't want to take his hard work away from him. True, you're not going to get much fatter or rounder on a vegan diet. Yeah, unless you're like a really special case, I guess. Tell that to hippos. Are hippos vegan? I mean, I guess all animals that are herbivores have to be vegan. Because they definitely don't go out of their way to like... To eat the byproducts of animals, so... Maybe. Nope, they're not. <laughs> not always. They're herbivores. They eat meat sometimes. They're omnivores. Not all done, eh? I see. Learn something new every day. version of a sapling. Oh, they're primarily herbivores. Gotcha. I see, I see. Yeah. Carnivores can eat chickens. I mean, that's definitely true. I definitely knew that. to stop very painful <laughs> might need to stop I'm worried it's gonna really start affecting the quality from here on out <laughs> must finish Fauna I know we've only got like four left-ish, but I don't know if I can consistently draw well for for that. So we might need to include those for next time too. Eight hours have passed. That's a that's a long period of time, that's for sure. It ain't short. Gotta give my hands some time to rest and recuperate. 
but I'm I'm pretty proud of how this has been going, you know. And it's not like I have an insane number left. But there is definitely a time to to throw in the towel for the night and I think I've reached it. Finger hurdy, please understand. We're close to being done with this one. Fun is cute again today. manga artist in Japan would write for eight hours straight. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a skill. Definitely a skill. And that's, they gotta do it for that long. I wonder how their hands are feeling. I hope they're taking care of their hands. I hope that Urana is following proper hand care. Because Gachi Akta updates, like, very consistently. Extremely consistently. I can only imagine how painful that must be for hand. Maybe a wrist guard would be good. They also have assistance, that is true. Well, they kind of, they need them. They need them. All right. Fauna. This Fauna. This one's for Wolfhound. I bet I can copy paste the ones that were like half a page onto this one. Or wolf pound. And then that'll be good. That'll be like two pages. Well, it might be more than four, to be honest, but anyway. Yeah. One, two, three. It's only three left. Three left. Um, so these will get done next time as well. Um, the three that we have left, um, are a doodle of myself, and then here's the idea uh, from Berserking. You wielding a chainsaw scythe and Gura wielding a, cha a, ch a chainsaw trident, being the cutest and coolest menace to society. If you can't have the chainsaw gear, don't worry. That's a cool idea. And then lastly, Callie in a tutu hugging tutu in a tutu. That's a lot of tutus. Nice. So those are the final three that we have um, to draw and I will do those next time. Let me look on the calendar for when the next time is, and um, I'll open up Super Chats very briefly here for but a moment. Just a moment. A single moment. Um, so get ready with whatever you want. You're gonna wanna be able to copy paste it somewhere. Just so you know, that's a good trick that I recommend. Um. So the next time that I think I can do this will probably need to be when I return. So, we'll go ahead and make it. We'll go ahead and make it. I really want to make sure that my hand can heal. We'll make it the 27th. The 27th of January, um, which is the 26th at night for America. Drawing requests. So put it in your calendar if you really want to see your request be drawn. Um, the second round of the fight in the parking lot is about to happen in an instant. 
On the 27th, uh, Japan time, I will be drawing the last three of these, and then whichever ones are accepted from here, and I'm going to open them shortly. So about two weeks from now, and my bet is that my hands... My hands will definitely have healed by then, and I'll be able to draw! Yay! So, get ready, guys, and remember, here are the rules. Go read the rules. You have to read the rules in the description, or I might end up not drawing it. I'll read them for you again. One red super chat is a quick doodle. Um, so put your name, uh, and then, yeah, put your name in there that you want me to sign it to. They have to be holo related or not include copyrighted characters. Um, and then the request will be drawn in the order it's received, and I'll close the super chats pretty quickly. Um, if you're requesting holo members, I'll only draw them with people they have collaborated with or interacted with in the past as a general rule, but in the end, it's up to my discretion. Uh, absolutely no yabai allowed. Keep it PG if other holo members and Mori can be PG-13. Also, I have the right to refuse to draw your request and not refund the super chat if it's inflammatory or in poor taste. If it seems that you aren't trying to be rude, but I'm not comfortable drawing it, I will ask for a second option. You definitely want to include more options in there. Um, including multiple options for me to draw is recommended. Um, let others have a chance. Don't ask for two in one group. So if you already asked for one that I'm drawing today, or you're one of the final three that I'm drawing next week, please don't ask again, just so everybody gets a chance. Um, and I will go ahead and say I would prefer if it's just one character. Um, I would prefer that. I know some people will probably still ask for two, but if you give me an option that includes just one character, I'll probably end up choosing that. Oh yeah. Hopefully we're all on the same page. All on the same page. Terms and conditions, all rights reserved, and I'll tell you guys when they're open. And they will not be open for too long. So get ready, okay? Everybody get your requests ready, and I'll open them in just a, in one minute, okay? Yeah, can somebody else send a super on behalf of someone else? Ah, uh, that's a really tough one. Um, I really hope... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope that you guys are, are being trustworthy and that it really is a request for somebody else and and not just another one for you so um please please <laughs> please and yeah that's about it all righty so please be honorable and I'm gonna open them in like 10 seconds, so get ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Open to Super Chat. Now you must be quick. You must be quick. I'm gonna close them. Make sure you refresh, by the way. I'm gonna close them. You gotta refresh, remember. All right, let's see. There is a delay. It's not working. I think it might be because too many were sent in. Dang it. Imagine getting zero new ones. <laughs> hmm? Usually it shows up by now. I'll open them up again. All right, I'll open them up again. Let me try again. Refresh, try again. As soon as I see the color red, I'm closing them. Okay. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. 
Yeah, as soon as I see the color red, I'm closing. So hopefully, hopefully you can get them through. Oh, there we go. I think now they're coming in. Yeah. All right. There they go. And... <laughs> Sexy shirtless pinup Calvin? What the heck? All right, nice. That's a nice chunk. Okay. Let's go. All right, hold on. I'll open them for two more seconds. All right. All right. I'm gonna open them up for just a couple more seconds and then I'm gonna close them. So please refresh. There we go. Now they're coming in. Okay. Done. No more. Hi. <laughs> what is that with the teal? <laughs> okay. I think that's good. That's a good amount. That's a good amount. Let's see what we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, oh, something like 37-ish. Yeah, that should be good for next time. 38, and then plus 3 from today. So yeah, I think that's a good amount. So those will be drawn on the 27th. 27th. Mm. Yeah, I think that'll be something like almost a hundred total. Yeah, that's a lot. Wow. It's a lot of commissions, but it'll be worth it. It will be worth it. Thank you so much, everybody, for all the commissions. Mark it in your calendars, everybody. Mark it in your calendars, and yeah. It's a lot of Mori's to draw, but yeah, it'll be it'll be super worth it. Yeah, this has been a really neat experience, so... Well, anyway, I really, really greatly appreciate it, you guys. Um, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Tomorrow, we're playing Red Dead Redemption. Look forward to some Red Dead. I'll go ahead and send you guys over to... The off collab that I guess, um, the karaoke that Kiara and Nerissa are gonna do. It's all for the MV in the end of the day. So it's all going towards a good cause. I'll try to rest well. I don't know if I can play any Stardew because hand, and that's... <laughs> playing games requires hand. But anyway, I'm your Mori. I hope you'll remember me. And thank you guys so much for the support. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Funny Cowboy Game. And hopefully we can get some good story progress. I guess I'll see you guys around. Everybody, take care and thanks for watching today. Let's once again review what we drew. This, and then these. <laughs> I like the gun one a lot. <laughs> I don't know why, it's just a good pose, good look, expression. And this, the ones that are left over here. So yeah, I guess that's all. I'll catch you guys later. Everybody, take care. Goodbye, everyone. Peace. Bra, Bye, guys. <laughs>